Welcome, Sticks everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome, everybody, as Sticks and Sam discuss farting. It is Saturday night, which means you're watching the seventh best show on Renovision and the number one show on Saturday nights on Renovision. I'll go with that one. Yes, sir. Approved by Sticks. So, oh, that one. <laughs> this week, like I said, I'm introducing the drinking game. So I will bring the QR code up tonight for everybody. Ooh. So let's sit back, grab a drink, and let's get the show started, Matt. Well, I think we're. I still think we're more prepared than SNS, even with nope. the, the rush we did on the show. I Yeah, buddy. The new intro. Was someone I, blowing in the mic? No, it's part it of was, the new intro. It was Dark Vader. Mm. All right. So, for the it people that Darth just... Lopez. Nope. I've got the QR code up in the corner. hey -o. So, if you guys want to scan the QR code above Sam, that will be the drinking game. Pose for a picture, Sam. And nobody knows the drinking game, and except for me for now. But I have designated an awesome listener to actually be in charge of it, so I don't know what it's going to be as well. It's Tyson, isn't it? It's Tyson. nope. I I uh, I make him do enough to help the show that uh, I'm going to let him be able to drink on Saturday nights. I'm going to give him a break. Hey, away. Shout out to Kingdom of Nerds. Thank you. Thank you for buying some books. I appreciate it. AOA, I appreciate you buying the SpongeBobs. They'll be out on Monday. <laughs> I thought he was messing with me when he asked, but he's not. Uh, and I want to give a shout I out to that. everybody that's been buying books for me. It really is going to help me a lot. You're it, welcome. It, it really does help me. It's really going to help my family. It's really going to help us. Like, uh, Pay the bills. Yeah, pay the bills. That's exactly what I'm selling for. So my wife will be out of work because of surgery for months. Mm. Carde, they're on Instagram. I put them on eBay too, but I put them on Instagram for cheaper because Ooh. because it's the the it's friends fees. are on Instagram. That's friends and family discount. Yeah, right, there you go. So I got some cool shit up there. Like, uh, let me bring up my Instagram real quick. It's it's gonna start soon. It's gonna start soon. Um, <laughs> <It's> slams. <laughs> yeah. me, I tried selling I, some slams today. I didn't, didn't sell one. I, I, you know, the cool thing about having a bunch of comics, and I know almost everyone, here, you know, everyone here listening can relate. Um, every time I go through, like, I, every time I go through boxes, I always find something different. Mm. Yeah. And that's so I find, awesome. I find a lot of the same crap. I'm like, oh, I have that. <laughs> like, you know, like you get so, like when I'm going through, I'm, I'm always just looking for something. So I skip stuff and like, you know, you get hyper-focused on looking for certain things. Right. Uh, that dead air. So. Dead air. So. Oh, so a couple go. of the ones I found. Th thanks AOA for buying these SpongeBob's. I have a shitload of SpongeBob comics. I couldn't believe how many I actually had. Those but this one, books, this man. one right here that I found. Oh yeah. It's a uh, Modern Warfare Two Ghost Number One, the mm. Jim Lee variant. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a badass Jim Lee cover there. So hard to find. Is that a hard to find book? Is it? Is it really? I think so. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> It's pretty badass cover. Yep. Yeah. I've never found it. It's right here. Yeah. It's right there for hundred bucks, Lopez. I see that. Sell sell some of your books and uh you know I had because I have it on eBay for like a hundred and fifty. It's about what it goes for, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. But for Lopez or anybody that wants it right now, eighty bucks. 
The only way Lopez is going to bite it is if you draw Captain Marvel on it. I got a, I got a, <laughs> that's gotcha. a I got to sell 15 bucks. Yeah, pretty much. If I had, like, I've never found any one, of those books. never even seen them. It's like 2008 is when they came yeah. out. Right, go, on, go on Instagram and claim it, okay? I think uh, Bruce just did. <laughs> there, it is. there you go. 80 bucks free shipping. Yep. I it was 90. I heard that. Eight, 80 bucks, 110 for Lopez. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's oh, a steal. I can't flip it, dude. <laughs> best, best I could do is 150. Lopez Your has still more cases of distilled water. Yeah, made out of mail. Do do the old reverse the old reverse negotiation like they do on Pawn Stars. I got, I gotta call somebody in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I got a buddy. I got a buddy in the business. I gotta call a guy. Tell but you what. I just. And it's the guy with the <laughs> dread, right? Bruce Bruce already fucking paid <laughs> for it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, there you go. There you go. But I just bucks. want to give a shout out to everybody that's been buying books for me. It's really appreciated. And Bruce out there spending that OnlyFans money. It's really gonna help me. Yeah, he is. So I've got an update <laughs> on the uh on the package to Tyson. <laughs> oh, the saga, the saga from New York. So, like I said the other week, it was it went to that little town. It, it went to Mansville, New York. Mm-hmm. Which is probably somewhere by you, right, Sticks? It's about two hours north of me. I should have had you go fucking get it. Yeah. The the you know nice, okay. the lady was nice and she was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just forward it to Tyson, you know, because he lives below Syracuse and uh, mm -hmm. Ithaca, I think. That's where Bruce lives. Doc, yeah. Doc's in motherfuckers right now. Um. And okay, so I I. I Message Tyson. I said, "Oh, they're forwarding it. Just keep keep a hold of the tracking." And he's like, "All right." And he messaged me. He says, "Hey, it's back in Glendale." And I was like, it's "Sent back here." It got sent back here to, and I was like, "Shit, okay." Well, I'm gonna go try to get it from the post office. Um, and then I would go get back to the post office. Tyson goes, "No, no, no. It's back in New York." It's a, it's a, it's in Syracuse, so it should be to me pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, sweet. So after a couple days, I was like, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Tyson's like, I'm going to go to my local post office and look into it. And he goes, I went to my post office. It's back in Glendale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. So I was like, okay, shit. So I jumped in my car. After I got off work, I fucking hurried ass to the post office. Before they and, closed. Uh, yeah. And I, I got it back. All right. And, uh, you know, I got it back. I was like, cool. Now, I, you know, what I originally was going to do is I was just going to put the right, the right ad, the right city and zip code on it and just ship it back to Tyson. And I got the box and I was like, Nope, <laughs> I gotta repackage uh -oh. this. Uh oh, was his name Sam? Card said, I just had someone receive a package of ship December 27th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely Sam. It might be. I did not rip Tyson off. Uh, <laughs> you know, the real question is Are you driving there right now? Did you set up like a semi truck cab? To look like your your studio, your driving now. <laughs> but so I, well, I I think I sent the pictures to Matt. So like the it was beat to shit. But the reason it kept going back and forth is the the lady at the post office wrote Tyson's uh city and zip code in pen, and it rubbed off. Oh, it smeared. And, oh, it smeared. So yeah, you got tape just, over that. Yeah, so it was just bouncing back and fucking forth, but. He should have it. He should hey. have it Monday. So the And it'll be back in Glendale by the Wednesday. Mother <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah. If that happens, I'm just gonna get on a fucking plane. 
and I'm just gonna hey. fucking walk up to him and hand it to him. Yeah. Sometimes those tracking numbers go wonky. I had one that was coming over from the UK and it got to Syracuse and they said it was out for delivery. Well, it said it was out for delivery in somewhere in Washington State. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then it, then it was at my doorstep within an hour. I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's insane. So, yeah, I was just glad that dude, because it's... The dude looked at me crazy at the post office. I was like, can I just get it? And I gave him the tracking number. He must have sat there for like two minutes and like analyzed it. Like like I was trying to scam him or something. Did you show him your ID? Yeah. This guy. Yeah, he eventually. Yeah, he pulled up it. the, the Renovision YouTube page and showed him our last video. Hey, that's me. Like, I'm Kyle. Me. Hey, yeah. it's me. This is our drinking game. I'm on fucking YouTube, motherfuckers. But that's it. Tyson should have his books on Monday. Finally, after two weeks. <laughs> Congratulations, Tyson, on getting your books. I'm glad I packaged my books well. Because keep our fingers crossed for you there, Tyson. Because if nothing's damaged, yeah. the air fresheners are still Fresh. crisp, and they're still a nine point eight. Oh, I guess Joe's Doolin dropping, name dropping Tracy Lords. <laughs> Dude, I, like me and Tyson were talking about, it, I was like, that package has traveled more than I have. <laughs> it has seen more of the country than I have. Well, I think it's traveled across the country four times. times the Brotherhood of the Traveling technically, Comics. Technically five. Yeah. <laughs> Brotherhood of the Traveling. Here you go. Uh, present. Share screen. Share that motherfucking screen. That's the back of it. Oh, boy. That was the front of it. <laughs> if you go back to the other one. Oh, shit. Hey, now. Hey, yeah, what's going on? If you see, but, it's hard to see this, but they actually taped over the rip for me. <laughs> what about what great people? Yeah, you can kind of yeah. see it right here. Got caught in the rollers. What a great! What but a great yeah, people. everything was fine because everything's all wrapped up. And then like the actual books he bought, one's graded and it's like wrapped up like a tank. And then all the loose books uh, were all in top loaders. <laughs> when when buying books from overseas I always insist that my book has its own separate seat on the plane <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea <laughs> do, you, do you order it the kosher meal or do you yeah. get something else sponge boobs all the time <laughs> who doesn't like to watch Patrick Star jiggle there's that one breastfeeding girl that I always see. <laughs> I want to subscribe to her OnlyFans so bad. Is it the blonde? The, the blonde chick? No, 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 no. She is Correct. blonde, but she's Correct. like dyed blonde. Free trial. Cancel well, it. Time. You, if you click on it through Instagram, they all have a special. It's it's uh it's one month for seven bucks. And then and then it goes up. And then it goes up. Or if you're lonely, I'm here for you. If that's it, like that's <laughs> seven bucks a month, but you can cast away anytime. Oh, this like uh, I wouldn't know from experience. I just read, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. <laughs> it's uh, let me see. If it's not, let's see. If she's not, oh yeah. Okay, here I'll share my screen real quick. <laughs> this is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. Legally. It's this, it's this chick right here. Is she like, the one with the tattoos on her chest? Yeah. Okay. She's my favorite right now. Fuck it. Get the free trial. Kinky Kelly and the sexy stud. So if you click on 
<laughs> Milky Florence's Milky profile. <laughs> and you Milky hit her, Florence. If you hit her link, it takes it takes it to uh, the my streams are fans. utterly ridiculous. <laughs> oh, the, here, uh, so like I clicked on one. It's her name is Maddie. And it says, I know exactly why you are here, and I will take every good care of those needs. Pinky promise. You are lonely? I'll be there for you. If you need <laughs> someone to cuddle with at night, I'm right here. You win at your job? I will cheer you on like your biggest fan. It's the You're, it's the virtual girlfriend. You are nerdy about your hobby? I will listen and watch. <laughs> That's Yep, Madison Milkers. <laughs> Madison Milkers. Virtual girlfriend. Very dangerous. Yeah. Beware. Yeah. Magical memories. And right now, seven bucks for a month just to try her out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Take her for try a trip. Out. You can't uh, you can't get a Starbucks coffee for less than that. I mean no, that's a sweet your... that's a sweet deal. You get a girlfriend for a month for seven bucks. <laughs> Dude, you I know, know it, it's so fucking tempting. Like, and it's hands free. Of Maddie at Madison <laughs> Milkers. Deep fetishes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she could rip your dick off like a cat opener. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Why can't you freaks just like foot fetishes like normal people? <laughs> <laughs> I like. I like I tried. I tried to warn you, people. Don't do this. I tried to warn you. And now Kyle is, he's been sucked down the breast milk. I like I like the mama milk makers. <laughs> gotta, now we gotta wean them off the tip. <laughs> never, <laughs> never, 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 never. There's a there's a big run on uh bodybuilders right now actually buying breast milk. That's been going on for a long time. Been Sell that for shit for what? Mm -hmm. I opened like up black the freezer market? and I told my wife, it "We're sitting on a mound of gold. We should be selling has, this. <laughs> go to Gold's gym hormone. and sell it. Let's go to the gym and sell it." It has human growth hormone in it. That's why. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Why would you do that? If I ever buy a comic off you, I'm immediately changing the bags of board. Oh, uh, he doesn't want any breast milk residue <laughs> <laughs> or any Kyle milk residue. Uh, if you buy it, I'll, I'll throw in brand new bags of boards. That's cheaper than getting a girl pregnant. Yep. Mm -hmm. They uh oh that reminds me we had my daughter's baby shower last Sunday, <laughs> and my son and his girlfriend got my daughter a cake that says at least you beat teen pregnancy because she's twenty because she's twenty she turned twenty three this year. Oh, okay, <laughs> good for her. <laughs> teen pregnancy goes down dramatically after the age twenty. It really does. It's like <laughs> almost zero. <laughs> yeah. Well, good for her. Yes. That's wonderful. I'm so happy for you, Grandpa Kyle. It's going to be a great yeah. time. If it ate Cambodian breast milk, then it ate pure. <laughs> it ate pure. Cambodia. Straight from Cambodia. Yeah. Cut Weird four ways. Lots of tune into the live stream. It's just Kyle selling books IG to pay for... Only fad subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish it was to say it's hard to say. I wish it was for that, man. I wish I'm not sure of, what the money's going to instead of medical bills. It comes back to the podcast, no matter how you no matter how you slice it, it comes back to the podcast. And remember, it's true. It's I already working. forgot. Oh no, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, are, we have the the drinking game anyway. is live. Go ahead and scan that QR code. It is in the top right corner. Kyle was doing his best. Joe Biden right there. And remember. <laughs> remember the fishtail zipper anyway. driveway. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> yep. So that is. Buy war bonds. <laughs> Buy war bonds. <laughs> war bonds. All I see is nipples. <laughs> I didn't see anything wrong with that statement. So if you're interested okay. in Maddie Milkmaker, Madison Milkers, <laughs> and her magic memories, is Kyle, Kyle's going to start doing OnlyFans reviews. <gasps> is this shit. worth it? Oh, is that, it worth it? That's an idea. All right. 
let's get this show started now. That, All right. Wait, so, wait, wait. Uh, how was about, everybody's week? <laughs> Instead of just mine. <laughs> about a month good. ago. Good week. It was a good week. It was a busy week for me. <laughs> Kids were on spring break and I didn't get to do anything fun. Yes, but before we jump into the first slide, it, this is another PSA. A month ago, I had the PSA about the <laughs> alarming trend of breast milking IG or IG posts. We have another alarming uh, trend. Why am I hungry for anus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, have you seen the porns with the? It, it's it's at world's world's biggest cock. Have you seen that, dude? Dude, it must be three feet fucking long. I don't typically go looking at other dudes' cocks, but, you know, to but each now, his own now body. We will. I'm going to have to pass. Dude, we'll hit it by the end of the show. I'm sure it'll be on Kyle's screen. No, 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 no. Not, not going to share the screen, but, like, just Google world's biggest cock, dude. It's, I don't think I will. Dude, dude, make sure, a, make no, sure you put it on a regular. Man, I'll, I'll pass. You do it have on a regular no, no. web browser. Don't do it on incognito. You have do it on a regular it's... web browser. Dude, make sure you click on all the ads. Yeah, make it's sure you do it at work too. It's insane. Like, dude, if it's I was a girl like or a guy <laughs> and I saw that thing, dude, I would put my clothes back on and fucking run, dude. The thing is like a bat. It's actually purple. Dude, it is signal. like. It is like three feet fucking long. Are you Googling it, Matt? No, but I'm laughing at Buffy. He said Pete is in the corner shaking right now. <laughs> dude, it is in fucking food. Kyle's going to share it. I'm, no, I'm, it right now. I'm, not, it. I'm not going to. He's doing it right now. <laughs> you know you watch too much porn when you can recognize the actor by their junk. Oh, dude. dude. Yeah, Kyle's like... He's got a lump. He needs to check that out. <laughs> it's, it's in fucking. It's it's insane, dude. Kyle's over there doing doing uh, cancer screenings on all the porn actors. <laughs> cancer screenings. Like here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna send you guys a link in the uh, in the private chat to click on. <laughs> oh, I I am thrilled, dude. It's, I'm pass. again. I'm Sam pass. is absolutely dude. tickled. It's it's <laughs> dude, it's insane though, man. It's <laughs> yeah, Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. <laughs> breastfeeding with Kyle's gateway drug to each <laughs> cock. It was it took it took two weeks. It took two weeks, dude. Just just click on the link, and you don't even have to click into a video, man. Just it's it's. It's it's That's fucking true, insane. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! What Did you click fuck? on it? Did yes. you click on it? It's here. No, 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 I'm not gonna show it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not clicking on it. Dude. Tell me, <laughs> like, if you were a guy or a girl, and dude, that's a two hander. What the <laughs> fuck? Two, two, you would need six. What the fuck are you looking at to find that? <laughs> Oh yeah! How you have entered the abyss! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Just, three dude, weeks ago, three weeks ago, Kyle was exploring maternal love, and now he's dude. Like, that thing's literally the size of your arm from your elbow to your fucking wrist. Dude, it's crazy, man. <laughs> that's not. That's not even no. Dude, I stumbled across it. And I was like, "That's got to be fake, <laughs> right, dude. Joe?" That's gotta be fake. <laughs> if I start hearing about veins, I'm out. It's like and I was like, part. so I clicked on one and I was like, it's not fake. That's a giant, it looks like a giant Snickers bar. No, dude, it looks like a goddamn snake, man. Like <laughs> I got a snake. <laughs> Marco is in, <laughs> is in his car driving all the way to Kyle's house right now. Shut it down! Shut it down! Kyle's ordering a Moby Huge right now. <laughs> SNS, the official home of the horse hung dude. It's you saw it, right, Matt? It's, crazy. it's, it's fucking crazy. Dude, it's insane. It's in fucking insane. All right, now let's get the show started. All right. PSA I, should, I should put the I should put the link in the chat. Don't don't, don't do that. Don't do that. 
What in the chat? Yeah, put it. Put it in your IG bio. Put it. Put the link in your IG bio so people can go find it. <laughs> I, I'm seriously contemplating my life choices if it has come to this SNS. Sigh. <laughs> All right, let's get the actual show started for everybody. This is not going to make it any better. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to say that right now. Okay, Tyson. So, for Kyle all of you cultured horse. gentlemen out there that like to tongue tickle the fart box, I just want to let you know that there is a mysterious flesh eating disease that is attacking those who like to consume the the brown eye, the brown the brown the spot, brown eye. Um, <laughs> the back the door. Eye. <laughs> In the first two months of 2024. 378 cases. This is all in Japan, by the way. Uh, cases of streptococcal toxic species. shock syndrome were detected in the country. Last year, it is believed that 941 cases, and it kills about 30% of the people who contract it. So if you if you go to the back door to get a taste of Ms. Johnson's pie, there's a chance... <laughs> If you're in Japan doing that, there's a chance you're gonna you're gonna take your last lick. So, dude, you know what? Even if I'm in Japan, out. dude, I, in Japan. I, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to take my chances. You want the forbidden ramen bowl, huh? The forbidden ramen bowl. <laughs> what other stuff in America? Good thing talking about porn wasn't on the drinking That's... list. You wouldn't have an audience right now. <laughs> But, Can I just that, say, so I'm so proud of how far Sam has come from the, the episode where you showed him the caucasaurus and he got absolutely freaked out to is, talking oh, about hold on, tongue punching an old woman's fart box. Like, bravo, Sam, you've come a long way. We've we've <laughs> corrupted you into this. Yeah, this is not this is not a positive, a positive <laughs> development. No, I'm just but really, I'm just looking out for you guys. OK, this is not something that we do appreciate that. I just want you guys to be aware that if you are touring the island nation of Japan and someone offers you some forbidden sushi rolls, you should think twice before consuming. For, every, for everybody who doesn't know, this is Kakasaurus Rex. <laughs> I, I remember the first time I saw that, I was shocked that something would be allowed to be on YouTube. I'm just shocked that somebody 3D printed this for me and sent it to me in the mail. <laughs> Dude, I have a screenshot somewhere of the face that Sam made when he saw this. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some back doors or trap doors. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's basically you got a one in three chance. If you contract it, and I don't know how, I don't know how many people are are uh, taking the the chocolate road in Japan, but they contracted in two months. There were three hundred seventy eight cases. <laughs> Life finds a way. All they are is theme so just, park. Just be careful out there. Theme park made. Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd says Kyle puts out for cream pies. <laughs> Sam is immune to condoms. Immune to condoms. <laughs> oh, he has so many kids. So you need to make sure it passes the sniff test. Yeah, you got to be real careful. Got to be real careful. Wash, rinse, and sanitize. The algorithm for this show will be very interesting. <laughs> He's bright. That's yeah. a critic, man. Sam out there giving sex ed info. What a tool. I, I'm looking out for you, Bry. I'm looking out for you. I know this stuff really matters to you. It's you I'm worried about most. Is that a steak? <laughs> yeah, who was it last week that was trying to tell us? It was the, uh, the sommelier. Who was the fart sommelier? Was it... Uh, was it Kyle or was it Brian? No, no, I said I knew a girl that, that oh yeah, he was the one that the, the shit on people's heads, but I was talking about the girl that liked to sniff people's burps to guess what they ate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the burp Somalia. There you go. <laughs> that... She's a keeper. Okay, okay so Brian, Brian's a super spreader. Brian's a super spreader. 
<laughs> well, he spreads his cheeks licked. and then he spreads the disease. So just, I don't careful. lick ass. I get my ass licked. Hold on. Just for that. The super spreader gets the bell. Ring the bell. Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> Lopez is cowering right now. He's so just uncomfortable. He hasn't said yeah. a word in like fucking 30 yeah. minutes. Hey, I I good. just want you guys to know that we at SNS, we do these PSAs because we care about you. So it's not good ass eating? Not in Japan. I wouldn't take the risk in Japan. Dude, it's it's from eating sushi. Yes, sir. This is our version of I mean, it's only a 30% chance it's going to kill you. It only, yeah. it only kills around 30% of the people that it affects us. So that means infected. seven people, you're good to go. Yeah. Three out of 100 people die of it. Not too bad. It's, worth, like it's worth the risk. Is Brian, is Brian bragging right now? Is he <laughs> bragging right now? Sam, I had a girl eat my ass like a full <laughs> court. Hold on. This motherfucker get. Dude, he gets it again. Bing, Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, there you go. Of We're all the at... SNS episodes, <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> Tony? It definitely is. <laughs> Lopez is on the phone with Pete saying, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, Marco. <laughs> I love you, Marco. We bring you guys. We bring you guys all kinds of stuff. Okay, mm. this is just the warm up. We just want to make sure you guys are protected. Okay, and you're and you're you're ordering the poo poo platter uh, responsibly. What I need to do is pay more attention to the drinking game and make it a live drinking game, so I can. You have to keep scanning so that so that you see the updatedness. <laughs> This is one of Renovision's channels that won't be accused of content theft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody's still in this first 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I heard uh, Jedi's already planning on talking about his uh, colonoscopy next week on, on uh, the qualified. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, Sticks is talking about the gout. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're. I still think we're more prepared than SNS, even with nope. the, the rush we did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, does this detour anybody from licking the butthole? Well, maybe not uh, in, this in country, Japan. Yes, but if you're doing if you're doing if you're doing ass play tourism, you should probably be careful. If somebody's muting Hartman, stop. Who muted Hartman? I don't think anybody did. No, I don't think so either. I hear next year there's going to be an after school special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This show will conveniently have technical difficulties in a few minutes. <laughs> Pete's going to come on and say, Sorry, guys, there's no SNS this week. Please stay tuned for a special CSI Japan. <laughs> CSI Japan. <laughs> That's great. Hey, man, there's a lot of people in Japan, though. 378 cases. Yeah, the, the question is, how many like of them, how many of them are sick? Streplecox toxic syndrome. Uh, uh, the que I guess the question really is, how many repeat, <laughs> how many re repeat uh, cases? <laughs> well, not many. You, you, you reduce the population of, of spreaders by 30%. Can you imagine getting that news? Ma'am, I hate to tell you, but your anus is being eaten by a strep cockle right. toxic shock syndrome. So in two weeks you will have no anus. So the the title may be a little misleading. The anus eating is how it spreads. It doesn't actually eat the anus. Oh, that's fucking lame then. How did you? How are you dying? What happened? Do you have cancer? No. Well, what did you do? I took a visit to the ass buffet. <laughs> and Big Bertha the, did me in. Yeah. I, I Big Bertha took me down. I was at the ass salad bar. Yeah. <laughs> I got a spoon and I dug in deep. And I should have had the soup. 
I should have had the soup. What is the soup of the day? Anus eating virus. So, uh, it's a uh, reprocessed corn. Mm. It just comes out whole. What are you talking about? Corn. That's what this fan gets for making fun of America's hamster fetish. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also Buzz Lightyear, remember? We, we learned about Buzz Lightyear in our PSA last week. <laughs> this is what they get for banning SNS in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Putin. Screw well, you, that's Putin. It. That's it for this week in, in uh, sex ed. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I like how this article has disease in bold or in red and rapidly in red. Just so you, just so the the point gets across. Indeed. But my doctor told me eating tossed salad was good for me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it also has Harry Thompson in, in red. Ring the bell. Oh my god. I am never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> That's awesome. I like Lopez actually muted himself for the last 36 minutes. He's, he's still on the phone with Pete. No, my, my are, no, no. no. I forgot. They're pretty, my kids are having a field day upstairs. Marco, I swear I didn't know they were going to talk about this. Marco, I love you. Show me we sneakers here. <laughs> Brian J wants you to know, Sam, for your information, I let respectable women eat my ass, not everyday sluts. You know, Brian, <laughs> me thinks thou protestest too much, okay? No, nope. there was no doubt. There was no doubt in my mind until you brought it up. Did now you plan to steal my Popeye's chicken. After we right. do it, <laughs> I'm not licking your ass. Bry's yeah, out there. The spicy chicken. Don't go there out for the, dinner. Bry's out there hitting the social scene with his monocle. Yeah, you'll do. Bry J equal page and zero. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't order zero. corn in my toss salad. <laughs> Those toss salad and scrambled eggs are calling again. Oh, yeah, boy. All right, let's start the news. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for that. Once again, letting our gracious, wonderful listeners know to watch the asses that they eat in Japan. Watch what salads you toss in Japan. <laughs> All right. It's not, it's not just pink eye. Watch the brown eyes, because it might watch get you pink ears. eye. Watch your ears. Your mouth. That's what we're here for, Buffy. That's it, man. The key to, the key to your weekend. <laughs> in and in. You know what I learned today, honey? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? You know what my seventh favorite YouTube channel show told me. Don't eat ass. <laughs> In Japan. In Japan. It'll get you. It'll come back to haunt you. <laughs> New Boondock Saints sequel on the way with original stars. The Boondock Saints is getting a big sequel with the original stars. Deadline reports that Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flannery are back in the fold. Dragonfly Films has taken the project with Thunder Roads as Nostalgia IP enjoys a massive day in the sun in Hollywood. It only makes sense that the Boondock Saints would get a sequel around this time. 1999 saw the original movie, uh, original film hit theaters, and now the movie enjoys a cult following. Fans can only dream of what Thunder Road is going to bring uh, to this property after the work they've done with John Wick. Some new saints are coming along for the ride when this one gets filmed. I think I know what fans are going to expect. An anus eating... <laughs> An anus eating... Uh, pandemic in Japan, and that they have to stop it. You're thinking of the wrong movie. <laughs> that's, that, that's Boondock Kings. 
Hit us with the hit us with the the R rated. I think sticks should get the bell. All right, get the bell. Sticks is the man with the R-rated dad puns. And he's eating zombie virus. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Rick Grimes? Yep, now we know what's uh, at the end of uh, Walking Dead. That's what I started mean, all with a was an ass-eating virus from Japan. Started yep. the break the outbreak in the Walking Dead. Bri J was patient zero. Yep. <laughs> I mean, is anybody excited to see the Boondock Saints three? Damn, I never saw one. Not too. Really. One is awesome. Like when that came right, out, right. and that was fucking. You're like, fuck yeah! But now, Norman Reed got Saints like, too. All Saints Day. But like Norman Reed is like eighty now. No, not eighty. I'm surprised he's at forty. I'm surprised he's at crashing planes because he's so old. Boondock Saints three, John Wick five. I'd watch that. We'll see that. As Make long as he. Over. Do you think he's going to keep the same Norman Reed haircut? Like, he's probably because like, he's, he's like Keanu Reeves. He doesn't ever cut it. He's contractually he's, obligated by Walking Dead, so probably sure as long back. as yeah. is that Norman Reedus show is going on, he probably has to keep it long. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't just get haircuts in the zombie apocalypse. Well, no. I mean, there's not a lot of barbers out there. No. That's one of the things that they don't talk about, you know? Yep. One was amazing. Two is weird. But I hopefully they redeem it in three. I mean, his haircut has kept the shoulder length, so I don't know. Great point. <laughs> it's going to be the new Walking Dead show at AMC. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the day the ass-eating virus got out of control. <laughs> Turns everybody's head into butts. <laughs> The virus from behind. <laughs> well, I mean, I like I'm hoping that they make this third one closer to the first one. Hmm. I take it you didn't like the, the second one. I wasn't a huge fan of the second one. I but I think the first one was just so it, it hit it got it's one of those movies that got you by surprise. Hmm. It's a heist movie, right? Like kind of like a heist movie. Man, I don't remember it. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Everybody go back and watch it. Yeah, I'm going to have yeah. SNS homework. Like go get an ass right? virus. Like, watch like, Boondock Saints. Look at Norman Reedus in, in the, the Boondocks 3 picture that they put up. He's like 17. <laughs> <laughs> it's Daryl, dude. Daryl's the head of college. It's like that's like season they... one, Daryl. That's what they should do in the in the show. That he should look at him and go, Daryl, dick. <laughs> hey, his show was pretty good, dude. I like it. I'm enjoying the Michonne and Rick show too. I am too, actually. Yeah. I'm 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 a uh, two episodes behind. I I like the Negan and Maggie show. I really yeah. Norman yeah. Reedus is 55 years old. Yeah, he's a youngster. No way. He's a youngster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's 55. Well, yeah, because you're 57, yeah. Lopez. No, I'm 47. He was born in 1969. You've got an old soul. Is that right? 69, Lopez? dude. So, yeah. I'm hoping it's going to be good. Just because I like mm -hmm. the first one. <laughs> Next up, Marvel's new Green Goblin is Gwen Stacy? Question mark? Marvel. Or <laughs> exclamation point. Yeah, Marvel already announced Norman Osborn's return as the Green Goblin in the landmark 50th issue of Zeb Wells' current comic run on Amazing Spider-Man. And recent issue teased the return of the Sinister Six. The six Dr. Octopus, Sandman, Mysterio, Electro, Vulture, and Kraven the Hunter regroup just as the Green Goblin targets the, the villains in Amazing Spider-Man 51 and 52 written by Zeb Wells and art by Ed McGuinness. Only that goblin isn't Norman Osborn and has been uh, operating as a heroic golden goblin ever since his <laughs> sins were cleansed by the Sin Eater. In an announcement, um, 
conceding with the release or coinciding with the release of Web of Spider-Man number one, Marvel teased that a new goblin born from the sins of Norman Osborn rises to take out the Sinister Six. What does that fucking even mean? Oh, it means it's Gwen Stacy. So why is born from the sins of Norman Osborn? So why is Spider-Man 2099 in the in this book? Because she's the Green Goblin of Spider-Man 2099. Oh, so it's not Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Web of Spider-Man was a book that came out this week. Had a nice Greg Capullo cover. It was on our. Uh, it was featured on the uh, Best and Worst Cards of the Week last week. Uh, the one I think one in fifty or one in twenty-five was on the CBSI Hot Ten last night. Um, it's just a collection of the like start of all the upcoming Spider-Man stories for the year. I so this is a at an eight dollar oh. price point, you it okay. was only worth it if you're really like into these titles and excited for what's to come in Spider-Man. But this, why not? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not? The, her destiny with or you know her destiny with Norman Osborn's always been like entwined. From Gooch the, Goblin, <laughs> the clone stuff to <laughs> him kill, dropping her off a bridge to him marrying her and them having kids, you know, after cloning her and all that BS. So it was only Boy. a matter of time that they came full circle to where she's just a goblin now or the green goblin. Goblin these nuts. Oh, the sins of Norman Osborn. Sam's trying what? hard. Sam's trying hard season. tonight. Let's give Goblin. it to him. Ring the bell. Beep, beep, beep. Ring the bell. I'm always waiting for a D's Nuts joke. The amazing always. spider cuck. You're always quick to whip out D's Nuts. But that's what I think always of that. I'm forehead. like, just that, the tease that they did. Born. For the sins of Norman Osborn, like, give me a fucking break. Let's just stick Gwen in wherever we can. Pretty much. I got a question. I got a question. Do you guys remember the Craven the Hunter trailer that came out last year? Yes. Is that, that movie still going was. forward? Is that still happening? Yeah, it yes. comes out Ooh, yeah. later this year. Absolutely. Like, I want to say November. I can't so. wait to see him get bit by a radioactive lion. I can't wait for it to flop. And then. Sandman, he got bit by a radioactive beach. Mysterio, he's going to get bit by a radioactive fishbowl. He was you know, bitten by a radioactive magician. Yeah, radioactive <laughs> magician. There you go. Gwen is going to get hit by a radioactive glider. <laughs> she, got, she got bit by a radioactive goblin decent nuts. Goblin are, are you reading this, uh, Matt? What, Amazing Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Dude, it hasn't been good in a while, which is a disappointment because Zeb Wells is a good writer, and I was so stoked when he took over Spider Man. But the John John Romita Jr.'s art on this book just fucking kills this book for me. Dude, it's terrible, man. Oh yeah, you guys are showing the twerk, right? The spider twerk. You guys got to throw up the spider twerk from earlier, or the shot of just like his taint. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The yeah, spider twerk, awful. But. I, but yeah, I mean, all this other stuff, like, because this book had like what's coming up in Miles Morales, so it had a little bit of Miles Morales, had a little bit of Spider Verse, had a little bit of Spider Man twenty ninety nine, hmm. so it, it was just like what's hap what's going to happen through the remainder of the year and all the Spider books, just giving you that that Fuck first look. So she's not Japanese, so it's okay to be gobbling her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's a bell, dude. That's a bell. Ring the bell. Yes, he is BK, and I'm super stoked that Ramita Jr. is finally getting the fuck off that book. Oh, dude, it's terrible art. It's it it makes it hard to read. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, oh, here we go. Moving on, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice trailer <laughs> released by Warner Brothers after years of, or decades really of waiting, fans of Beetlejuice finally have their first look at the. Aptly titled sequel, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Surprising new, uh, surprising few, Michael Keaton's uh, infamous ghost is the star of the trailer with Winona Ryder and Jenna Ortega getting their own fair share of screen time as Lydia and Astrid Dietz, respectively. Keaton, Ryder, and Ortega 
are joined in the film by returning Catherine O'Hara, in addition to newcomers Monica Bellici, uh, William Defoe, and Justin Thorax, or Truax, whatever <laughs> <laughs> you want to say, <laughs> amongst others. Everybody you can drinks. check out. <laughs> yep, you can check out the teaser trailer for Beetlejuice: Beetlejuice Above before it hits theaters on September sixth. All right. I, so did I everybody to... watch it? Oh, go ahead, yeah. Sam. All right. I just want to say eponymous is the word. Eponymous just means their name is in the title. That's all that means. Thank and you. Then Justin Justin Thorax is gonna. I'm gonna let that ride. <laughs> Isn't that from Doctor Seuss? The Lorax. The Lorax. That's what you're <laughs> Thorax. Thorax is the uh, is a part of um, bugs. Bugs have a thorax. But you have a thorax too. It's just your chest cavity. Michael Bellucci, of course. Thorbro, not thorax. <laughs> thorax is better. I, I like this picture up here. You know, Jenner took a showing a little leg. Everybody else is covered up. She's like, I'm gonna show off my sexiness. Mm-hmm. Oh man, my son, my son got a little, he got like a 60% chub just hearing her name. Nice. You had to go take a cold shower nice. or what? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, son, come on, put that down. <laughs> hey, the same thing happened to me, man. It it it, it happens. Mm-hmm. She is got, so she is so he's sexy. He's got a little crush on Jen Ortega. He he watches Wednesday about every Wednesday. I, I don't blame him. We'll get a show. I mean, you guys all watched the trailer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Sam proves this is an this is an educational show. What yeah. did you guys think of the the little teaser trailer that they did? Does that make everybody excited? It it looks looks like they've got all the right people in place. Um, you know, it was really kind of a bonkers show, so I'm hoping they bring back a lot of that zaniness. <laughs> I just like how Lydia has the same haircut. Yeah, she when she was a teenager. Exactly. Uh, hey, a lot of people do that. Yeah. I was excited when they announced everybody. She wears her hair the same as she did since the eighties. I want them to make the animated series canon. So, go. Oh. <laughs> but you remember years back? I know Matt probably remembers us talking about this. Remember when they were talking about a Beetlejuice two, and they said, "There's no way this is going to happen. Yeah, there's never going to be a Beetlejuice two. These are all just rumors. This is just the way it is. We're not doing it." Here we are. Fast forward. I don't know what a good five or six years later. Yeah. Here we it's, are. Beetlejuice two. It's the Michael Keaton Renaissance. Yeah, you dude. Can't get enough of him. Major comeback, dude. Major comeback. Good for him because he's a good actor, <laughs> my opinion. Joe says I'm still rocking the same hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Bald head. I'm excited, dude. <laughs> Kyle has elementary school chub. <laughs> I don't. I'm true. not sure. Let's not touch that one. That's that is true. Of, that's a weird. That's a weird one to deal with. I don't want to deal with that. The juice. Yeah. Is and then show someone showed them the money. Yeah. I bet it was Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was like, "Hey, we can make a I, lot of money." I'm hey, intrigued to see hey. what the plot is because, like, yeah, where do you go from the first one to make a sequel? Or take yeah, it the uh, juice. Me too. Gina I mean, Davis and and uh, Alec yeah. Baldwin were the dead couple, right? They're trying mm-hmm. to keep their house. Yeah. Aren't they both dead? Nah, the dude, they're alive. They're oh. both alive. But well, Alec Baldwin is like Alec Baldwin's got legal he's... trouble. And yeah, yeah, yeah I was say, Alec Baldwin's out there shooting people on the <laughs> set of movies. <laughs> That's and, right. And, That's and, right. And, but prior to that, he's been around, you know, The Departed. He's been around, dude. They, you know, there wasn't on Third Rock or one of those shows. Thirty Rock. Yeah. 30 Rock, yeah, and I Virginia know that Davis that hasn't been in up. any movies in decades. Michael Keaton should have won the Oscar for the Beetlejuice. Is the only movie you need, no, yeah. for uh, what's it called where he plays a superhero, Birdman? Birdman, yeah, good movie, but I don't know about Oscar, yeah, easy. The Juice is Loose, it's one of my favorite movies, man. He'll get the Oscar for this. This is Oscar bait. This is Oscar bait. Yeah. I hope Jenny Ortega shows up in a see-through dress. Dude, she's like 19. That's Perfect. She's old enough. No, I she's old enough to not be a teen pregnancy. Yep. Yeah, no, dude. All the women are 30. 
the her risk of teen pregnancy has gone down dramatically since she turned twenty. I cringe you when I think. Her. Bitch, I think you get to see she her is twenty one. We can go to the bar and I can get her drunk. I was say I think you get to see her nude in that Miller's Girl movie she did, um, where she's like boning her teacher. With what? With, no. What? With what? Martin Martin Freeman. Yeah, nah, Martin Freeman. Don't do that because I, oh, dude, I'm not. I will not. What? I will not. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, I don't Called Miller's it. Girl. She That's... bones Martin Freeman. Yeah. I've, yeah. I, I saw the trailer. I, I don't know if I could. I'm uh, watching it now. You got. Really, you know, <laughs> Kyle's you know, gonna. kind of getting typecast, dude. I'm not doing it. I mean, she, not typecast. You're not going to support Jenna Ortega? Is that what you're selling? It? I do. I watch all her stuff. I would okay. say this is like untypecast because she's been in like typecast and straight horror before this. Yeah, she's she's been a, almost a a scream queen since she became an adult. Lopez barely, I barely knew of her. <laughs> barely knew of her. Before Wednesday, I had to go back and look what she had done. Scream! I mean, baby. She's no, Scream. she's no Meredith Vieira. That's true. Right. Hey, Monica Bellucci was nude in uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. She's one of the vampires that come out of the bed. Yeah. Oh man, I don't Monica care what Bellucci. it costs. I'm fucking paying to see this movie. Still a smoke show. Uh, six ninety nine on Apple. Perfect. Amazon Prime. Done. As soon as this show's done. Taking screenshots. <laughs> Taking screenshots. <laughs> Posting them on your favorite uh, breastfeeding channels. I agree. I'll send them all to Tyson. Oh, yeah. Because she's sexy as fuck. Oh. So show. Now I'm looking at pictures of her. And that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at her Instagram. Oh. What a show. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, man. We had to end the show early tonight because of Kyle. Give Ortega 60 years, then Lopez will be all in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's too young, man. Come on. I can't even. No, look her. no, no. Oh, man. I was hoping for a wardrobe malfunction right there. America, America falls in love with a Latina just about every four or five years. There's always a new one coming around. I fall in love with one every day. Right. That's oh, true. Oh, you know, from behind? Hell yeah. It's true, dude. She did it for the art. The role demanded it. Look at that. That's disrespectful. Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> oh. Kyle just went from six to midnight. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got to stop making that sound, Kyle. You got to stop doing that. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, I'm just gonna let that play for a while. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be checking out that quarterback's arm again later. He's working on getting that uh, ass-eating virus. Oh, dude, I would totally, I would totally You'd spread it. it to, I would risk it all. No questions. Hey, I've got the ass-eating virus. So what? <laughs> so fucking what? I've had a good run. I, dude, <laughs> I'm, dude, bragging rights. Ass eating virus from Jenna Ortega. Sold. <laughs> Sold. Sold. Oh, yes. This is why we lost. Uh, what was his name? John Horschler? Horschler? Yeah. I, uh, whatever happened to him? He hasn't been around for a while. <laughs> a he's, he's here for the knowledge, and instead, yeah. you were giving him. <laughs> it content. Yeah, you give it a General Ortega get it pounded from behind. What? What's gonna be that was not vision? getting that was not getting pounded, all right. That was getting made sweet, sweet love to your b-hole. That's right? exactly what I would do to her. I, like, yeah, this I is can't do it. <laughs> slow I and steady. Years. <laughs> I, I see in 20... The show has taken an odd turn. It has. We'll still be here because depending on who you ask, we get away with everything. So We'll be all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pete knows better than ask questions. I don't. I don't want to watch porn with Kyle. I'll tell you that right now. No, probably. I not. don't want to watch porn with you either. Because it's like slightly <laughs> sound effects. He'd be like, "Oh, look at that!" <laughs> watch a porn with Kyle. You're gonna get a dude with a fucking oh, six foot cock, dude. <laughs> dude. That's fucking crazy. Kid looks like he's holding a fucking five dollar foot long from Subway, dude, and ready to go. Five of them. 
<laughs> Kyle's favorite team is the Yankees, and Spanky is his favorite little rascal. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this should be renamed OPT Old oh, Curve Lord. Time. Oh, yes, come on. Don't act like you're not getting all uppity about it, Zaggy. I agree, Lefty. That's why I'm taking the high road. Don't act like you weren't wiping sweat off your brow when Kyle was showing. And that. that's why Lopez isn't on the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Jake Gyllenhaal talks about possibly or the possibility of playing Batman in the DCU. A new version of the Dark Knight will make his DCU debut when the Bat, uh, Brave and the Bold hits screens, and Jake Gyllenhaal would love to play the titular hero. Drink. Yep. Speaking the screen rant, Gyllenhaal discussed the prospect of taking on the role if the opportunity presented itself. But but of course, it would be an honor always to play Batman. Those types of things and those roles are classic. Gyllenhaal was considered to play Bruce Wayne and Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins. However, he ultimately lost the role to Christian Bale, even though writer David S. Goyer advocated for him to play the character in the 20, 2005 movie. Why? Can, you, can you hit that word for us, bro? Titular? Titular? Yeah. Titular. Oh, no, you got it. You nailed it. Okay. Why? Just fucking Why? Hey man, he was in Roadhouse. Why not? I mean, he's he's all right, dude. He was kicking yeah. ass with Conor McGregor, so why not? I hope they're they're talking about the possibility of him not playing Batman in the DCU. You wouldn't want to give him. A, I'd give him a shot, dude. Come on, man. If 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 uh, Twilight worked, we said the same same thing about Twilight. We said the same thing about Heath Ledger. Look how that turned out. <laughs> Who's we? I didn't say that. Well, oh, yeah, a lot I mean, of. Folks. I don't. Need, I don't even want him to play Batmite. Really? Dude's a good actor, man. He's a good actor, but I don't see him as Batman. I mean, he's already not even, not even Bruce Wayne. Point. I mean, that's the I mean, point, Sticks. No one even saw Michael Keaton as Batman. Really? Yeah. Really? Jake John Hall? Really? <laughs> if the gift from Boston, Ben Affleck, can be Batman, why can't oh, he fuck I, And he's, in my opinion, the best Bruce Wayne. I like him as Bruce Wayne. the man who likes to fuck women in very uncomfortable places. Like, like the back, back of the Volkswagen, so can play Batman. Jake <laughs> Gyllenhaal can play Batman. All right. No, sir. That's an incorrect that was, uh, statement. That, what was yeah. that? No. Brokeback Mountain. No, stop. No, Brokeback that, Mountain. That was, yeah, Brokeback Mountain with him and Heath Ledger. Not well. Yeah, but there were was, there gay yeah. cowboys eating beans nah, and licking with, each other's in between. Beans and rice and miss you. There's a top yeah. with, with uh, Anne Hathaway. Oh. Um, <laughs> Actually, I think his Jake Gyllenhaal's best role is that uh, one where he was trying to figure out who the Zodiac killer was. Oh, Zodiac! Uh, they're, yeah, they're Zodiac. Fuck, what's it? <laughs> is it Creeper? He's no, like it's a... called, it's called Zodiac. No, he's a reporter. Lopez. Go eat your scraps in the corner. Bale is the best Batman. <laughs> No, he did a fucking good movie where he's a like he's surfing. Oh, I know what you're talking about, where he's like the the low life yes news cameraman night crawler. Yeah. Crimes. Night crawler. Called night crawler. Night crawler. That that's a good that's a good solid movie. <laughs> Thanks for the save, Sam. <laughs> you make me want to quit you. <laughs> you make me want to quit you. It's it's a line line from, he wasn't a gift from Boston. He was ejected from Boston. It's a riff on a line from Brokeback Mountain. I got tricked into seeing that movie. I swear to God, <laughs> it's not a bad movie. I mean, nah, dude, but I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't know. And everybody made fun of me. How could you not? I didn't know. I, I didn't. I just didn't you. Know. I like Lopez. I swear, I was tricked. <laughs> it was the first day, dude, and I thought it was a cowboy. Hey, Lopez. Lopez was in the movie theater. Bro, was, dude, with they, oh, I don't want to really. Jake Gyllenhaal, the Joker. Hell yeah. Dude, was, they're in the tent. I was like, dude, I went for okay, a smoke break. Was gay. I went for a smoke break on that, dude. I was like, oh no, what the hell? I had a smoke after that. <laughs> Lopez looked over to the guy to his right and said, thank God I wore my sweatpants. <laughs> it's not gay if you're camping. It seems like you didn't know. I said, nah, dude. And then I started remembering the trailers and seeing the trailers afterwards. I'm like, ah, it makes sense now. <laughs> like, oh, not again. 27 not again. times. It was all right there. I should have seen it. It keeps happening to me. 
He was good at Donnie Darko. You're right. Yeah, Donnie Darko. Fuck yeah. I mean, Anne Hathaway. <laughs> you want movies in that were fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Great point. That's a great point. Yeah, the areolas are. Oh, see, now we're fighting. Never mind. I take that back. He gets him with his gate. I swear, a- the tent scene, I went outside and smoked. I swear. I, did, I, did. I didn't watch it. I swear. I myself. But see, when I came back, it, she laughed because it cut. So I went somewhere else and they came back to that and I got the full no pun intended. The full Monty. Yeah. <laughs> they, are, they got you again. They tricked you again, Lopez. Dang it. Shit. At that point, I just sat there and Lopez took... was caught in the theater as well, just like Marco. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked, I just sat there and just said, fuck it, dude. Somebody's gonna I hope somebody gets an Oscar. This, this was Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. The full Zero Lopez. <laughs> it was yeah, Hathaway, Michelle Williams. No, um, we need yes. to clip yeah, that. Really. I had to leave and go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. We need to clip that. Pat. Yeah, I was still smoking Reds at the time. Cowboy Killers, Marble Reds. Cowboy Killers. Yeah. He was like <laughs> Cowboy Jake <laughs> Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I'm like, where's the action at, dude? Is it? Oh, like, what the fuck no, is going on? No, you left to go smoke during it. And they're looking at the cattle, or whatever it is, and then they start building you, you, it. You saw this movie many times. I know, know right? He knows it by heart. It out it's like head. describing it. He's like, oh, and then hey, look, and then it gets sad because <laughs> never go full Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was smoking all right. <laughs> smoking all right, yeah. Oh, it gets, it gets, and then it gets sad and tragic. Dude, dude. It into chilling all. <laughs> Yeah, and Hathaway was like, yeah, that's why he can't see him as Batman. He doesn't want to be attracted to Batman. He was sitting there like, Is this turning me on? Yes, <laughs> absolutely not. Jake Gyllenhaal, short sword. And you know, it was the first date, so I didn't really drink and I didn't want to drink coffee. You know, I wanted, you know, and I so I, I couldn't go pee, so I had to go smoke. <laughs> his tail is all this time. He couldn't go pee because he was on a first date, but he could go smoke. Tell his oldest time. <laughs> at, that point, at that point, I was like, fuck it, dude. I'm on a first date. I can't pee. <laughs> no, she didn't care. I mean, she smoked He's smoking. Yeah. Uh, Lopez is the kind of person you don't fall asleep near. <laughs> Tell his oldest time. I wish I was a saddle, Lopez. <laughs> Boy meets girl. Boy takes girl to movie about gay cowboys. Boy, Boy takes smoke. smoke. <laughs> Boy stops dating girl. Well, yeah. Boy right. can't pee. Boy goes and smokes. <laughs> Lopez went to the pee. nearest YMCA. <laughs> hey, that's another pedophile joke. I don't like those. <laughs> I just can't get over. I had to pee, but I couldn't, so I went and smoked. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Lopez, when the movie theater was full of guys, you should have known right then. The implications. <laughs> the implications. He just thought they were all in cosplay. No, he I was like, not. oh man, these people are really dedicated with that their guy, cowboy that hats and their neckerchiefs. Oh, yeah. the, the village people are here. And those ashless chaps. <laughs> Real dedication. I better go smoke. I, I, I'm pretty sure there was somebody else in that theater that same thing happened to them. They didn't. No. Did you talk to them? <laughs> Lopez could not pee because he had a boner. <laughs> yeah. He was afraid to spray all over his pants. That was the implication I was referring to. The so the Anne Hathaway part, yeah. Uh huh. Sure, 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 sure. No, no one's, no one's making it otherwise. No one's saying otherwise, Lopez. It is what it is. I just like how Lopez just keeps fucking shoveling himself deeper and deeper oh, and deeper. But it's in it. It's right here. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just go with it. Oh my gosh. What was the name of the theater? Blue Moon? Uh, <laughs> the Lamo 18. Blue Torch. Oyster. Oh, yeah. It was the Blue Oyster, yeah. Wasn't that the Police Academy, the bar in yeah. Police Academy? Yeah. I think you were definitely beating the drink. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. After it's habit to smoke after talking to the nut. <laughs> good time. 
went to I went to IHOP after years. that. That Denver omelet. <laughs> You, you, the, know, you, you remember so this? You went to a movie. Very, very you went. You had a smoke. You busted into Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, <laughs> dude fucking in a tent. And then you went and got yourself some moons over my hammy, huh? Yeah. No, <laughs> Lopez, <laughs> we ain't buying it. <laughs> she chose I hop. She chose. She chose I hop. Right. Yeah, yeah you, you got a very detailed, vivid memory of this event. That popcorn oh, buttered almost, itself. Almost, almost got laid. Second base. Yeah. A second base. Well, yeah, you couldn't get it up because you already fucking released the big bull. You ruined base. it. Denver omelet equals gay code. You know, like, like 20 pounds lighter. It's a good time. The world needs Bubble Boy, too. <laughs> good time. What happens in the bubble stays in the bubble. I'm sure it was a good time. This is too much. Sounds like one hell of a date, Lopez. (laughs) This show's never going to end. We haven't even got through the news yet. We're over an hour in. That was a rabbit hole. (laughs) Almost. (laughs) Almost. almost, (laughs) What's his name? Yeah. Second base, bro. Second base. (laughs) (laughs) What did you say, Sam? I can't remember. Lopez movie review went over and he's jokes. Too many jokes going on. Can't remember. I can't hold on to a single one. <laughs> Lopez movie review went over. I needed a sandwich and a nap. <laughs> <laughs> if if only it was the Dune popcorn. <laughs> I've yet to see Dune, man. <laughs> Lopez see. had Lop, Lopez had some of that post Jake Gyllenhaal clarity, and he went out and, and grabbed a smoke. <laughs> he went to IHOP. <laughs> Broken back theater. Dude. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, this, this is pretty fun right here. That's uh, oh, I, that's, yeah, really, that's, uh, I second base, guys. I got second base at least. Hey, sure. whatever you got to tell yourself to feel better on on Redondo Beach, one of the lifeguard towers. I'm not gay. I got the second base. <laughs> that doesn't take any effort at all, Lopez. And then we smoked the blood afterwards. Hey, what's up, Sarah? What's you you, came, you came on a hot night. It's a hot night tonight. I, know. I agree, I saw... anyway. Really? I Where did you think of Ghostbusters? I liked it, but the ending was meh. The ending was super rushed. Spent all this time building up to it, and then like it was over in the blink of an eye. Mm, yeah, that's been what been a long time. That's Lopez what Lopez says said. on it. Lopez, <laughs> Lopez said. Said. <laughs> yeah. While well, he's watching Break or Brokeback Mountain. Did you get the popcorn bucket? The trap? Yeah, it's right, right here. Flip it on eBay. It was forty five bucks. No, it was only thirty bucks. Dude, they oh, are, 39 bucks. Ball they, are, they are doing these gimmicks. They are begging people to go to the movies. Yeah, yeah they, they are. are. Instead yeah. of just making good movies. Yeah, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to. Uh, I want to see Civil War in a movie theater. Oh, but it's going to be a uh, good year for movies. That's though. already out, and it's no. not the movie theater anymore. <laughs> no, no, the, no, the A24 one. The yeah, the new yeah, one. The, um, My wife did tell me though that we are seeing Beetlejuice in theaters. Beetlejuice oh, absolutely. Too. Dude, it's gonna be a good year if you think about it. I mean, you know, Deadpool. So she's like, pretend, be prepared to get your feet tickled. No, no, no. Well, he she... didn't tickle my feet. <laughs> Joker. Remember that the hand was creeping up the thigh. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why the Joker was the last movie I ever went to go see. Damn, it's a long time ago. And I was like, this is fucking stupid, and I wasted a bunch of money on this. I'm, I'm worried about yeah, if someone's tickling down. your thigh. You just close your eyes and pretend it's Jen Ortega. I tried; it didn't work. I knew it was a dude. And I'm worried about part two, man. <laughs> well, yeah, because he was whispering in your ear the whole time. Jen, Jen Ortega, get, Jen Ortega didn't have. Uh, hair he was whispering in my ear. I'm a dude. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah. I was sitting next to Lopez and broke back mountain. <laughs> I wish I could quit you. I wish I could quit you. I oh, can't yeah. quit you. That's gonna fuck me up all night. I wish I could quit you. That's right, huh? Fuck. Don't act like you don't know. 
I, you <laughs> know, I seen it. Seen it every day for twenty years. Broke down that whole movie. No, including really what, what you did before, before, during, and after. <laughs> I would smoke the bar ropes. I couldn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> Can we click to the next story? We got one more story, right? Yeah, dude. I, we, we... All yeah, right. Two more. Do comic book ads count as first appearance of characters? I saw this on uh, CBR. A com- somebody asked uh, one of the editors and writers there about first appearances and if a do comic book ads count as first appearances so i just no. wanted to see what everyone's opinion was on this and what your opinion on what per, <laughs> what makes a an actual first well, fuck me, right dude. <laughs> i wish i could quit you dude what <laughs> what makes a first appearance i you know I, I, Wait, hold sure, on. I'll, can I say something? The Wrangler quick? Strangler comment. I'm sorry, Pete Marco, but it gets this. <laughs> <laughs> it has to get that. It's sorry. The McClay. Oh, I said his name. All right, what, did you, what were you going to say, Sticks? I was going to say that this article came out right after uh, I did my trivia on. Uh, uh qualified two weeks ago when i had this as part of my trivia so someone someone was watching my trivia and decided to i'm make sure a, i'm sure someone was watching your fantastic trivia sticks regular were, thank you. Lopez nuts. Lopez nuts. thank you for saying it's fantastic i appreciate that it sticks is, we it's, have legal I mean, it is know, right on la- par with fucking lopez's la- jeopardy Ooh. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say no to this. It does not count. Yeah, no, absolutely the not. Preview does not count. <coughs> no. Yeah. Phantom first appearance is two ninety nine. <coughs> I agree. Just like Wolverine's first appearance is Hulk one eighty, not one eighty one. I agree with myself. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you see him in full. You got his name there. The only thing he doesn't do is speak. It's got to be in the book and on the cover to be a first appearance. You think in the book and on the cover? So you wouldn't count uh, no, no, on Janie I'm, X-Men Annual 14 I'm as Gambit's just, first appearance? He's being, he's being a punk. He's oh, okay. Being oh, he's being, yeah. Channels. As I say. Enraged or engorged. <laughs> Uncanny X-Men oh, Annual 14. Is that Gambit's yeah. first appearance or is it yeah. Uncanny 266? Annual. Whichever one sells more. I've never seen the annual, annual. so I don't know. No, it is. Duke sticks. Whichever, right. yeah, whichever one He's you have more of in your inventory. He's in most. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Whichever yeah. one you could pump and dump. <laughs> hey, there's no pumping. Yeah. Unless, around. unless Lopez is watching Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, we don't need any more pumping. <laughs> or dumping. I can't. I gotta yeah. quit. I gotta quit you, dude. I gotta go smoke Marlboro now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you want me to explain why, I'll fucking say what exactly. We don't need to go back there. We don't need to go back there. Okay, then. In that scene, bro. It, oh, here we go. He's breaking it down. <laughs> no, no, he's breaking it down. I'm not good. No. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Explain it. Why you had to go smoke a cigarette after watching? Are you serious? I'll do it. Because now do it. We're no. He's in a tit. They're making out. A one tit. of them. One of them goes doggy style. Do licks his hand. And I walked out. That's there. Awful, you happy? You happy? I'm now? Hot and you want me to say it again? I gotta go say it again right now. No, they're I don't making, want you to say it again. They're making out too. I want you to say, "Dude oh, licks what? his hand." He so licks what? his fucking hand. Say it slower. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen the movie Eight Mile? When rest in peace, Brittany Murphy licks Peter's her hand. Slang cigarettes. Remember away. that? Eight Mile. Yeah. Okay. And it's the same thing. What they do did. That's no different than in a porno watching a dude fucking hawk a loogie in a chick's fucking vajay as he's about to take her to Pound Town. Okay, well, he's got a three go. foot cock. This, this, <laughs> like six never foot seen foot foot that in my life. Subway, fucking six foot long. Jesus Christ! All right, now let's move on. We don't have to talk about it no more. It's over. <laughs> it's you just, you just keep taking it back, Lopez. <laughs> Sav, help. Lopez walked out because he's. I tried. I tried to help you. <laughs> do Do you feel like there should be some definitive like? The combo companies should come out and be like, "This is this person's definitive first appearance. This is the definitive." And it shouldn't be left up to us that. as the collector they, they, or they, they, they put like, it out. They did that. They did that with the Marvel cards. I'm sure they did it in the like old price guides. Yeah, but if you look at like CGC, they said, like Wolverine 180 label, is the definitive first appearance. Yeah, but CGC it, doesn't seem to agree with that. Correct? They still put the label as I'm 181 sure being the first appearance. Uh, Here, this this article, this little ad is going to be. 
in because look what book it shows in the ad. 181. 181. Yeah, but I mean, is it 181 or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It I can't read them. It was 180 for a long time until <laughs> like they, I haven't been reading the comments. I mean, I'm getting There's blue. a reason Lopez keeps flashed a black screen. On. Dude is spanking it right now, having flashbacks and shit. No, I had a long week. I didn't shave. <laughs> I didn't shave. Yeah, I'm just not comfortable right now. I'm all, <laughs> I didn't shave. I'm one of those moments. All right. Jake Dillon Hall was in the tent. Yeah, oh, no. It was it was 180 for a long time. We all know that, dude. Until and then nah. influencers and whatnot and all that famous story about what we won. Like if the, I mean, if it was me, I would rather have the cover appearance, the first cover of Wolverine versus him in the guts. Because that's mm -hmm. such a cool cover. Well, right. What yeah, but not every first appearance has a great cover for that. Right. Character. No. Isn't that what it was? Would all be in Look said? at Rogue's first appearance, for instance. Yeah. Yeah, that's a horrible. Well, not horrible, but it's not a great one. <laughs> but I, I think that makes it His actually make it cooler. <laughs> that's why Lopez is it off. His hair is messy. I was watching Brokeback Mountain for the show. <laughs> it's got real sweaty. A little bit. It did. So, so, I mean, what, what does the chat really think? What I mean, what does everybody... What do you think, Matt? I I don't think that it should... I don't think ads like this should count as first appearances because, like, look at the gobbledygook uh, uh, Teenage Ninja, Ninja Turtles first appearance, and that book was just... <laughs> that book what? was put out and printed on a scanner. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lopez is a pick of Jill Hall with wasting her haircut taped on it. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> Lopez is taking it on the chin in more ways than one tonight. Dude, dude, are you seriously? Dude? Yeah. Poor hey, Lopez. at Lopez, you open this can of worms. If you just admit you spanked to Jake, we will leave you alone. <laughs> Spank to Jake. That's don't almost a bar. It's like don't a give bar. In, don't give in to the peer pressure, Lopez. Oh, no, of course not. Yeah, I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hand it back off to this new story. Yeah. <laughs> back no. to you, Matt. No, two ninety nine, one eighty, and all the others. Well, like, but it's it's something that like Lopez said. Uh, I think it was Lopez who said the first appearance <laughs> of Venom. It's not. Is it Spider Man ASM two ninety nine or is it three hundred? Because he it's appears at two ninety nine. Yeah, did, didn't the Todd Father say it's two ninety nine? Yeah, and yeah. then you have all that confusion about what is the first official appearance of the black suit, and it just it gets messy and convoluted. Like the like we were talking about the gambit stuff, and I don't. If we're gonna go as far as, and I see you see people reaching for it, but if you're gonna go far as being like, oh well, this is the first appearance of this character because it's in an ad in the back of this book, what are we doing here? Like, like what was the book that Thanos on the TV screen in the back I mean, in the background? Uh, on the yeah, I, uh, I guess you, you'd have to call this like a first promo appearance, I guess. But no, I kind of agree with Buffy. Camo, we, cameo used to mean a small appearance by an otherwise known character. Mm -hmm. So how can a, a cameo be first? Well, I mean, we're, we're, that's CG Wolverine in a full panel, dude. Like, yeah, is that a, that's but, not a cameo. That's okay. A cameo will be half. His body or something? I mean, isn't wasn't uh, isn't cameo really like uh, a guest appearance in a book? If it's a if it's the first maybe, time you see the character, it can't be a cameo. Kind of like that Miss Marvel, where it's just she's like flexing. Like I would character. I would consider a cameo would be like the first Mary or the first Mary Jane, where a you know, she's there, but she's got the fucking flower in front of her face. Oh, that one. That would be like a cameo to me, or the Damian Wayne. Uh, mm -hmm. well, Batman, I can't remember what a six something six, where he's uh, like sh shadowed out in the background. That would yeah, be a cameo because the next issue you real you find out who he is. Like that's a cameo to me. Like if they're on a full panel, like the Wolverine at the one of one at the end of one eighty being there full bodied on the last page to me that's that's a first mm -hmm. appearance. Like he's in the book. He's in the yeah. guts of the book. But I like that Buffy. 
a cameo sort of reveal. Wow, wow. yeah. Same thing with Venom, right? That's him. Full yeah. body. And doesn't he say something? I mean, yeah, know. and there's other issues in the animated <laughs> Spider-Man run. There's one with, <laughs> where he pushes uh, Peter into the train tracks. You know, yeah. He has his hand. Yeah. Is that a cameo? Is that What is that? That's probably a cameo. Or do you need to see body? See, who knows, dude? That's see, At that point, we don't know who or what it is. Right. I mean, granted, but... Do we, get, do we have to get to the point where we count how many panels are in? Uh, they like, have to be in a well, minimum like of four panels to be considered right. a first appearance? Well, that's the Gambit annual. He's multiple panels. He right. talks. He has a conversation yeah. with Storm. Yeah. And the whole thing with Wolverine in that 180. He's there in full. He speaks. He says his name. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to yeah, yeah. You know? So, how oh, is that not really a first appearance? He does a trifecta right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's only in one panel, but he that's does a lot in that one panel. That's why I have 180. And that's even though it's yeah. a big way to say I got his first appearance, because you know, to everybody else, it's not, but it to me it is, man. First cover appearance would be 181 in my book. And that's the one everybody Well, it wants. isn't everybody's book because it is. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just thought this was interesting to talk about because, like, I've seen people being like, oh, well, this is the first, you know, appearance of so and so in the ad in the back of this book. And it was like, you get the first appearance of Miles Morales in the ad in the back of this book. And it's like, what? when did ads become first appearance bait? It's, mm-hmm. it just sounds like a, a ploy to yeah, push that books. Pre- you talk about that previews. They're kind of cool. Like, I have the book where, I can't remember where it is. It's in my in one of my boxes, but they're previewing uh, the how Nightwing is going to be because they were they were they were you know promoting he's going to be he's going to go from Robin to Nightwing and there's a what? there's a couple drawings of him in a book as a preview. Mm-hmm. What what about like those preview books and they have like three or four pages of the book? I don't consider any preview books as first right. appearances. Absolutely not. Even if it's at, given out at like a comic shop? Well, yeah. so then do you consider like free comic book day free comic book day books a first right. appearance? But that's an actual comic though. A, a preview it's book a is just shit that's coming out. Well, it's like the first five page, five or six pages from of a book that's coming out. Right. Because usually... Yeah, no. Most of the time, it's two books, but but, yeah. but a preview books are just shit that's coming out. Like it's just yeah. a whole bunch of shit that's coming so, out. Yeah, the solicitation for what's coming out. Hmm. So, yeah. Just, all right. All right. All righty then. X Men ninety seven may have just made a major retcon to an original animated to the original animated series. The final moments of X-Men 97 uh, premiere show the team grappling with an exit of Aurora Monroe Storm only to hear a knock at the mansion door. While they expect it to be possibly be Storm, it ends up being an identical doppelganger of Jean Grey, who who frantically asks for the X-Men's help. On the surface, this seems to be a subversion of the comics introduction of Madeline Pryor, especially given the fact that she's already been a part of the... uh, merchandising for x-men 97 if either of those jeans the one arriving at the door or the one who has already been in the mansion since the start of the series is madeline it raises some questions exactly when did the events of x-men the animated series uh was Jean was Jean gray cloned if the gene we've been following thus far in x-men 97 is actually madeline when did the swap occur and could it change Jean's role in some of the later events of x-men the animated series Bum, bum, bum. Uh-huh. We got, well, you guys have watched the first couple episodes. I mean, what what do you guys think? I enjoyed it, dude. But it's like nostalgia, though. But I, it's, it? it was it was I like it. It's Not only cool it was only good to you because of nostalgia, like no, 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 no. you know, Cyclops was a badass dude when he jumps <laughs> off the jet and he fucking Cyclops. does his thing. You know what? I read the 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 X Men Michael Rosenberg run. 
make me change how I felt about Cyclops. And now I see him as a badass, no nonsense type leader. But I enjoyed it. The fight scenes were pretty dope. I know Matt had some issues with some of the animation, but you know what I'll say? Because I watched them uh, like three times. I'm going to say the writing would be the only thing that I was like, eh. The dialogue was a little suspect at times. Oh, and Jubilee's dance scene, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's just all lining up, Lopez. Brokeback <laughs> Mountain, Jubilee dance scenes. Just... I'm a Jubilee fan. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I, I liked it, but like Lopez said, I had issues with the animation. Like I felt like every time someone would talk, they'd open their mouth super wide when you, for some reason. And then there were times where like the audio <laughs> didn't sync up right. Like when they're talking, it, it's like watching an old Japanese film where their, their words don't match their mouth. Like it just, it seemed like the audio sync was off. Like they're yelling for Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. But I mean, Godzilla. it has some cool action scenes, bro. Their power set. And, and yeah, the the scene with Cyclops right? in the first episode when Dude. they're um fighting off the the I can't the yeah mutant lib- freedom whatever liberated yeah whatever the fuck. and he's yeah. like using his like um, yeah. psychic beam to like slide yeah. around the floor and stuff and reposition himself like Dude, yeah that was cool but I like um, how they tease Ro I I like how they tease Ro being a badass being super powered when she crushes the Sentinel's hand. And if she if she just like manhandles three signals like over nothing. <laughs> Gabbit's cum gutters. Hmm. Um. So was it good because it's nostalgic, or was it good because it's good on its own? For me, all of that. Yeah, I think it's I all think it's that. both, but yeah. I really think nostalgia really plays heavily into this show. There's something I saw on Instagram where there's like a a child watching that. X Men back then, and then no, like now a, we're looking at he, children watching shit. Like, no, he grows no, up. It's, and this older dude would. It's the same person, you know. What I mean, it's a younger kid, and then he's grown up like most of us in our mid late forties, bald, watching X Men ninety seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I ain't fucking bald. Well, you know, some of us. But it, I, it's good, dude. It's good. I and I I enjoyed it. I hope. I think it might get better. I like to see if my knee was gonna stay good. I think there's a twist coming maybe with Magneto. I don't know. We'll see. And I hope we get more characters, bro, because we never really got Psylocke. We never really got Archangel. Um, I hope they do something with Sunspot. What if it's been Madeline ever don't. since? What if it's been Madeline it's ever since the Phoenix character. shit? Then I think it's a fucking excellent twist, and we'll figure out how all that happened. That's. I mean, if you think about it, that's, you know, it's good to see. I think it's I cool. Think- I think it's what it, I think it's been Madeline this entire time, and the gene you see is a gene who escaped yeah. from uh, Sinister. Yeah, and shit's about to go down. I mean, they take shit from the comics. They did it. In, they did it um, back then, and it wasn't just like the Jim Lee, you know. I like. I actually like more from this too. Like, That's I like what he, I say too. that he's, you know, Age of Apocalypse morph, and then he trans transitions in or changes into the more from the anime series at times and right. even like turns into saber to fuck around with wolverine and like i liked <laughs> i liked fucking gambit riding piggyback on wolverine to kinetically charge his claws yeah. as he throws them at oh, the sentinel dude and i don't remember i know the wolver i know the magneto and rogue in the comics but I, in the animation i don't remember them having a thing i think it's hinted at before she joins the x-men yeah, there was a backstory, back of flashback. Okay, yeah, but you know, you know, she didn't do. She rejected Magneto in there when she comes out. She comes out the uh, the room and Gambit's right there, pissed as fuck. Sorry, it's been requested. Hold on. Ring the bell. Ring, ring, ring. ring the bell. <laughs> Ring, 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 ring the bell. Yeah. Good show. I mean, it, it's... It, Have you watched it yet, Kyle? No. Slacker. Yeah. Hmm. Slacking sticks? Yeah, I watched it. I thought it was all right. 
The problem is, is if for know. some reason Disney Plus is blocked at work, so I can't watch it. Oh shit! Can't even watch on your cell phone. I probably could. I'm using my own fucking data for that. <laughs> maybe That's... you could. Maybe you could sacrifice one day of watching uh, Armageddon and watch X Men instead. I have switched. I am now watching Jurassic Park three. Uh, no, that's the worst one. Yeah. No way, Alan. Jurassic Park two one. is Jurassic Park three is good. That's what the pterodactyls finally, the third yeah. one. Yeah, that yeah. one sucks. But I like Dan. I like X Men ninety seven. I'm interested to see where it goes. It is like I said, a big nostalgia trip from the end. From the minute the intro hits, yeah. It's uh, I don't know. It's fun. Yeah. That's it, just fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Excited yeah brother. Brother. Now we just it made me want to be a kid again and get my bowl of Captain Crunch and sit down on Saturday morning and for Captain Fox Crunch. Kids and you can watch the Fox Kids line up and you can shred my down. mouth, shred the roof of my mouth with Captain I Crunch. Say, Dude, Captain I was going to say, you don't nasty. want to bite the roof of your mouth? Absolutely. Yeah. Cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. Mm. Cookie breastfeeding yeah. and monster cocks takes up way too much of Kyle's time to watch X Men. <laughs> right. <laughs> that That's is true. It's probably a screensaver now. A monster cock? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's crazy though, dude. <laughs> All right. Now we quarterback sneak it to Sam for big news and anime. Watch your Oh, yeah. Ears for the intro. Welcome to Big News in Anime. We're going to dive right into this big treasure trove of news. We got five big news stories for you guys first one is a bit of bad news or uh the comic or the manga world is still reeling from the loss of akira toriyama and rightly so dragon ball super uh which was primarily written by akira toriyama and drawn by toyotaro is going to be hitting an indefinite hiatus while they scramble with what to do next um issue uh chapter 103 came out and it was it was like a battle royale kind of in fun with all the saiyans goku and gohan and then broly and gohan and then vegeta and gohan and then broly and vegeta it was just going around and around and um it was a really great chapter so if that's where it ends it's a good place to end it but uh, the idea is they're going to find some way to continue the series but it's on indefinite hiatus. It may come back in May, but maybe not. We may have to wait uh, much longer. So keep your fingers crossed for more Dragon Ball Super. Um, but if not, it's been a good run so far. Well, they have the Dragon Ball room set up. So they have, I'm, I'm sure they've had to have like something set in place of like a roadmap of where the series or the manga is going to go. And probably not. Well, they, yeah. They they do map these out. This is a monthly release, though, so they don't map it as far. Um, like for example, um, Eichiro Oda, who does One Piece, he he has to tell his new editors what the ending is in case he dies, so that they can produce the final chapter and not leave it on a cliffhanger. Um, but as far as Dragon Ball Super, I've heard of no such thing. They they had it mapped out through the Moro arc and then the Granola arc. And now um, they they did the Dragon Ball Super Superheroes and then they've expanded it a little bit, but it's basically come to an end. Um, and, and so the next question is, do they want to continue? And if they do want to continue, do they have the plans to continue? And if not, who do they get to write it? Well, I thought so, they were already planning out their... Um, I thought they were already planning out the the next big adventure while they were finishing up the end of the super the superhero arc. 
they they were okay so the what they were kind of leaning towards and if you're if you're reading the tea leaves correctly what they were leaning towards is a more gohan centric story arc um but they brought everybody back to earth Earth. so who knows who knows what they were thinking of doing at this point um obviously this took everybody by surprise they waited a whole week to even tell us that he had passed away um so We'll see. We'll see what happens, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. It could take it up. PK. Take it up to the end of Z and end it. <clears throat> Don't go well, past it. End it. Well, so Z. This takes place after Z. This takes place after. No. Well, no. The, the super takes place before the end of Z, where they have the final martial arts tournament, where Goku flies off with Oob. This takes place before that. There's like a ten year gap that Super takes place in. Before the end oh, of Z, so Super is supposed to go up to the end of Z. I see what you mean. Who knows? I don't know. Um, at any rate, the next we click to the next story. Unless you guys want to keep talking about this, uh, we're still talking about Dragon Ball. Saudi Arabia has announced that they are going to open a Dragon Ball theme park. So, if you want to wish on the Dragon Balls or visit. Capsule Corp, or train at Kame House, or fly to the out, the Overlook. Um, you can do so. Starting, I think, is in 2025. Is the where they're planning to get it open. Um, it'll have Sorry, something Tommy like Tommy Box. Tommy, they'll have something like 30 rides. <laughs> I am. They'll have Watch lots of. They'll have nine different or eight or nine different zones, um, including. The dragon, including uh, Capsule Corp. Comic Not Lopez's Comic dragon, Lopez. though, during um, Brokeback Mountain. Beerus's, Beerus's planet. So there, there's a lot of stuff to do. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if you're a big Dragon Ball fan, you may want to start saving your pennies and t- talking to your travel agent so you can be first in line right. to go to the theme park. I, unless you're at, so you'll get beheaded. Yeah, sounds sweet, but I'm not going to Saudi Arabia to go no, there. no. How does that work with, I mean, with rights and all that? I mean, can they just build their own theme park based on it and not worry about it? Or looks like it. I mean, I I don't know. I that's that's a question of international law, and that's not really my area of expertise. So I don't know. What Damn it, Sam! All right. Next up, we've got. A, an announcement from Warner Brothers Anime Studio that they are looking to produce basically double their output on anime. Uh, this year, they're going to be producing the... That's what Lopez uh, did during Brokeback Mountain. Increased his production. <laughs> Doubled his output. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're, they're going to be releasing the uh, Suicide Squad Isekai anime this year. Um, but they are looking to... They had said that we have been... We have a Japanese anime studio which has been producing five or ten anime series per year over the last few years. We've approved expansion to take that to more than ten series per year, uh, he said. 2011 saw Warner Brothers uh, anime studio take off, delivering over 80 titles thus far. So the you could be seeing a lot more of Suicide Squad, Isekai, and, and similar titles coming out of this uh, anime studio hidden max and and other streaming services for the next foreseeable future if you guys Sweet. like that kind of thing this is good news for you all right next up so um we we talked about the new anime series don da don coming out uh in april uh, they did a cross promotion with ghostbusters frozen empire in japan with these special posters Don to Don is a very popular manga series in, in Japan, and it's it's a very good series. It's kind of zany, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so this cross-promotion makes a lot of sense. But um, we we showed, I think, the trailer last week, but it's a crazy series. And, and them getting this kind of cross-promotion is good for both Ghostbusters and Don to Don. And uh, I hope you guys check that out when it, come, when it hits Crunchyroll in April. Crunchyroll. It's kind of like it's kind of like the uh, the anime version of Thresholds of Reality, aliens and ghosts and 
all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> hey, I know my Dragon Ball stuff. That's Ugh. really the only anime and manga I follow religiously. Ugh. Overrated. You're overrated. All right, and then Lopez. I think this is our last story. We had five stories this week, but um, get ready to binge on these uh, these coming anime titles to Netflix. They're going to have... I mean, these are series that have been on Crunchyroll for a while, but they're hitting Netflix. So you have My Hero Academia seasons one through four, One Piece Film Red, Spy Family season one, Q seasons one through four, Black Clover seasons one through four, and Jujutsu Kaisen season one. And what this means is that they will be in English language. Lame. So, so you can check those out. Did we, did we miss a story of yours or something, Sam? I don't think so. Those look like fans only page emojis. <clears throat> Is there one more story? No, I, you said five, so I just didn't know if one five. got missed or not. Two Dragon Ball. And then there was the the Warner Brothers studio. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don to Don and then Netflix. <laughs> no problem, Matt. Just checking. Sam was giving you the dick side eye when you were calling him out. <laughs> I'm just calling him out. I'm just. <laughs> The dick side eye. I think Brian's just trying to stir up trouble. That is AKA smoking a cigarette during Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple highlights. We'll hit highlight number one. This is yours truly getting a double out here and then yeah. Yeah. boom, catch. Yeah. And then my son getting super hyped by it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's really good. Look at that. Got so around got, the foot. Get the catch. Yeah. Yeah, dad, yeah. go, dad. Where to go, dad? <laughs> that's my dad, everybody. That, that's, that's my legal. dad. That's legal. I can't right? you, dad. You, you can catch the ball, right? And then throw it yeah. back. That's dad, legal. you right. did the best. Jeez, dad, dude, was, you're I great. Well, anytime. Thanks, son. We had your little <laughs> dance last week, and now you got your own personal hype, man. It's yeah, perfect. for real. I've been really working on my throw, so I'm really ha- I'm really proud of myself for getting that first out. <laughs> that guy's really slippery. Dude, do you slippery, those, yeah. do you have the uh, cards that Hartman sent you unpackaged so everybody could see them? Oh, no, I already gave them to the the guys, so I handed them out on Wednesday. But if you Lopez um, is better with balls. <laughs> But they were – Hartman did a good job on the cards. I'm glad we finally got them. And then all the other guys were like, where's my cards? And now i got to find – I don't think Hartman wants to do cards for me anymore, but I, I've got to find a way I to get – I bet you he will. i got to find a way to get more cards because everyone else is like, I want a card. I want a card. Just – I got a coffee mug. Don't, don't pay him until he's done. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get a card to yourself, Sam? So the, the photos that we got were from – were taken by a – and you can click on the photo. Click on the photo. Uh, the photos we got were taken by a. This is a blink and you'll miss it. So. So Brian, Brian's the guy there in the middle, and he was just kind of hopping along. Jace can throw really, really fast, and so he's kind of just kind of shake him up, and he bent over, and the ball just like stuck between his hand and his belly, for a catch. So it's just kind of miraculous that he caught this ball. Oh, I got oh, it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at me. Look at me. But Jace got his revenge because he beamed him in the face like the next game. Right in the face. Where's the video? Uh, it's on. It was on our stories because it's only a three-second video, but uh, it's also on my Twitter account. But I didn't put, I didn't put it up here. What the <laughs> fuck is Twitter? Photo taken by yeah. Sims. Fan from Twitter. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we're Brian actually is a photographer. He just he broke his sports lens, so we got to pay for a new sports lens and lens, and then he's gonna take photos that we can. Then... What kind of camera does he have? I I don't know. He's the pro, not me. If he's no got idea. a Nikon, I got a nice uh, lens I could sell you guys. Oh yeah, is it, is it for sports? Yeah, it's one of the big sports lenses. Okay, well I'll put I'll put him in touch with you. If he's got a Nikon. Yeah. I'm selling everything. <laughs> everything must go. Yeah, we had a great week in dodgeball this week because everybody showed up, and it was a great time. We had 
full full court. All the guys that went to Italy with us were there, and then we had about four or five other guys on top of that. It was a really good. It Sounds was like really back Mountain. Hell yeah! Smoke break. <laughs> Kyle is a true hustler. We <laughs> always appreciate the the support that, you that Renovision it. and you guys have shown us, and that, that the folks in the chat. So thanks for following us on the Instagram. We really appreciate all the support. It means a lot to me personally, and also to the league. So thank you guys so much. The wife told me. Thank you. I son. actually people actually did reach out when they saw that I was selling my comics and stuff. They did did reach out to buy my VW, but my wife said no because. You know, we're upside down in it. <laughs> and the amount of money I put into it, that it, I won't get back what I put into it. So, it, it's, but you got a camera lens, a sports camera lens at that. Oh, it's a yeah. I spent a lot of money on that. Oh yeah, but I don't take pictures and stuff anymore. So, all right, it's time for everybody's favorite fucking shit show. <laughs> Saturday night, low pretty, brought to you by Lopez Homemade Distilled. Waters, watch your ears. Coming to you live from the Renovision Studios, this is Loperty. It's Loperty. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Do we? Do we have enough players that I don't have to make a fool of myself this week, or do nope, I still? No, because have because I have to run it this week. So yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, so I it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Run it myself when I couldn't. It's gonna be six sticks. Sam and Matt uh, playing for the for his uh, win. Yeah. He's just real quick. I like to get the stats out. Matt's two and zero. Oh. Sam, you're one and three. Sticks, you're zero oh and three. What about me? You're, You're not right. playing tonight, Kyle. Yeah, you are old. Let me cares, Kyle. Yeah. Get up. Right? Who cares? <laughs> so who goes first? I'm trying right. to make it about you. Matt can go first. Matt goes first. Uh, movie, He's sports, and TV for 100. Who won the 1991 World Series? One. Sam. Sam. The Atlanta Braves. No. <laughs> Oh One, man! <laughs> two, three, done. The Mets. No, nah, Minnesota Twins. Mm. you yeah. You can just reveal the answer. You don't have to be like, "Oh, I know the answer." <laughs> oh, sorry. I was trying to like speed it up. Hey, your wife is. <laughs> uh, she's in your corner. I know. Good uh, to see you, Matt, Aaron. One no of the two. Love that you're here. I got a stat for you. Matt is only one of two that have won multiple games in Loperty. All right. We'll go big. Uh, movie, sports, and TV, 500. How many Oscars does Steven Spielberg have for directing? Sam. Sam. Two. Two. Two? Two. And the answer is Sam. Is it right or wrong? <laughs> if it's wrong, you got to say it's wrong. So you know, and I, I, we got to reveal the answer. I can't. I can't. I jumped ahead the last yeah! time. Yeah, you are correct with two. Look at that. Nice. Excellent. All right, Sam. It's on Appetia you. Your time. All right. All right. All right. Let's go back to all right, Sam. Sport, what do we got, movie, sports, and TV for four. Name two cast members from the TV show Alice. <laughs> Alice. Yeah. Uh, Sticks. Alice? Go for it. Sticks. Mel and Flo. No. That is not cast members. So the actors. What? You want the you want their actual names? Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, Am you I... should have said Wait. that. You should have said that. Alice. Come yeah. on, Alice. Yeah, that's a tough. Alice right. and Mel. So moving on. I don't. I don't even know. So those are the. Oh, only you wanted two. the actual actor. Yeah. The... So the, that's the only two actors in Alice. <laughs> no, you just have to but, get two. You so what happens if you would have guessed two different actual <laughs> actors from that? It it says says said anybody. It's it says they two cast members from the TV show Alice. But you only have. But there's more than just two cast members in the TV show (laughs) Alice. All right, all right. None of us were going to get it. Let's not act like any of us even had a chance. All right. (laughs) (laughs) 
Moving on. But we will look at that and make corrections for the next time, sir. Okay, let's go 300. All right. Uh, still on set. How many Oscars does Denzel Washington have? Matt, two. Matt. Two. And the answer is... Two. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my Who's team one? Who's team two? Who's team Hold three? On. I'm team two. Matt's team one. So okay. you have... Here. Sam has 500. 400. Or 400. No, he has 500. Kiss my crap. I got the I got the 500, yeah. but I missed the 100. Yeah. So it's 400. Okay. So it's 100. No, I missed the 100, so it's 500 so, minus 100. Okay, so okay. 400, and, then say, yeah, and, then, and then Matt has 300. Okay, we're 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 good. We're good. Excellent. Uh, let's go uh, DC for 100. Batman and Robin number one, 2009 is the first appearance of who? One, oh, two, oh my god, I'm drawing blank. Three, done. Thank god, you did add Lopez screws up Jeopardy to the drinking game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no, well, the answer, uh, what's uh, it, what's uh, it? Uh, I should get a buzzer, huh? Professor Pig. That's right. Professor uh, Pig. Uh, we'll go with Matt. Go ahead. Uh, let's go sports, t- movies, and TV for 200. Who won the <laughs> 1995 World Series? One. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mad. Was it the D-back? Three. No, it was 2001. Um, and done. Sorry. The Mets. Atlanta Braves. Braves. Done, sir. That is a correct answer, but time had expired. I'm so mad. It was oh, <laughs> time had expired, sir. Time had expired. Okay, moving on. Let's fucking go Star Wars and comics for 100. I'll never get any of this shit. Star Wars, the Clone Wars. Uh, no, is Sam, Ahsoka number Tano? one. <laughs> what? what, what? Matt, <laughs> who is Ahsoka Tano? What is this even asking? What is this yeah, even right. asking? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this even asking, Lopez? <laughs> the uh, category you, you have to you have to speak uh, Lopez to know the <laughs> yeah yeah. I'm a, I was assume, I was just ex- assuming it was whose hey, first hey, appearance hey, was. Did you hold on hold on hold on? Uh, did you get so that correct? Star Matt? Wars, yes, he did. Hey. So it, oh, I think we should go. Yes, that's exactly it was the first appearance of Fool. So we do apologize for that one. So, so it's I, Star I, Star Wars and comics. Yeah, my bad. Typo. Typo. Right. So I'm gonna go. All right, but you get the points. The Matt, does that. Roll, that Matt does get the points because I'm gonna did. go DC for 200. <laughs> God, yeah, you gotta go back to start. Uh, Batman 652 is first appearance of what team? It, oh wait, is it Batman number six or Batman number six of the new 52? Yes. From the new Wait, 52. Yes, what? <laughs> yes, to what? Yeah. It's Batman 6 from the the new 52. So the Capullo and all that. Snyder. Um, My bad. I just fucked these. It's the up. Court of Owls. <laughs> Sam, what is the Court of Owls? Uh, I'm going to let that one go because I just had to give Matt on, on my typo. Yes! That is correct. <laughs> <Court of Owls. laughs> Sam wins on the perception check. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty mad at myself for these uh, high rolls. What is the light at the end of the tunnel? Answer, Jeopardy train wreck. <laughs> yes, I'm disappointed, Buffy. I, I'm going to have to take this. All one. right, Sam. How long do I have to deprive my brain Let's of oxygen DC to understand 500. these questions? <laughs> DC 500. Actually, comic 252, it's first appearance of what character? Six. Six. Supergirl. Who is Supergirl? And... And and nothing. <laughs> well, he's got an S tier. And the answer it's is plural. Supergirl. That is correct. All right, moving on. Are oh, you going to give him that points? I'm going to have to because I didn't I, I didn't write the question correctly. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and the answer in, a, in, 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 in the manner that everybody could. That's understand. full Lopez, my dear. Yeah, yeah, I did fuck this one up. All the other ones have been like perfect. But see, I got the Lopez curve. Have they? Yeah, have, have they, they really? Yeah, what? Really? <laughs> have they? But this is a Lopez curve. complete debacle. All and right, we do apologize here at Lopez. All right, let's go. Uh, points? Did he, did he get the points? Let's yeah, go Star Wars yeah. for three hundred. 
Star Wars uh, versus Sith one is the first appearance of who? One, two, three, done. That's it. I feel like I feel like this it's show. gotta be that lady, right? And the and the answer. And Who's the that lady? lady? Talk about hustling. Lady. The answer was <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'll speed it up. It was Darth Bane. I'm disappointed, sticks. Come Bane. on, Bane. Darth Balls. I was between Bane and Bong. No, it, yeah. it should be, be. It should be like you should know. I should just. Yeah, I know. You're right. You're right, Lopez. I apologize. All right, sticks. Pick again. Let's go. Two hundred. Star Wars: Return of the Jedi is the first appearance of who? Star Wars: Return of the Jedi, the comic book, <laughs> is the first appearance of who? One. Sam, the Ewoks. Two, that is incorrect, Matt. That's not true. That's a lie. <laughs> Matt sticks going once, twice, six. Times, Take times. those points away from Sam. Should be losing yeah. the points right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Sticks. sticks. First appearance of the Emperor. Emperor. He's, He's wrong. wrong. He's wrong. wrong. Hold on. And He's the answer special. is. Hold on. I'm gonna hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna refer what? to Judge. Judge. Uh, that's actually correct. What? He's correct. You give him the points. He's gonna. He's gonna let that. Who gets the points? Fly. Sticks they don't call him Darth Sidious in Return of the Jedi. Sticks, Sticks gets the points. It is the Emperor. It, it was his name, but he was Darth Sidious. It wasn't really used in Return of the Jedi. But the judge says yes. Sticks. I played a win, Bri. I played a win. All right, Sticks, what do you pick? Uh, let's go down to 400. Sticks, are you winning? I think I'm winning. He is winning. Star Wars The High Republic 7 is its first appearance of what Sith in the High Republic? Sith Lopez. Era. Sam, one, that is incorrect. Sam, you got to deduct like at least 200 points from Sam. Uh, please, Darn. Mr. Kyle, boss. I did it. One, two, three. We're done. Six. We're on. Six. I'm going to give it to you, but it, you know, it's kind of close. Is it, Go. Is it, is it Darth Crate? No. He's wrong. Take the points away. Like, point. You're incorrect. You should have just, you should have not. I should have. You have to deduct the points for Kyle. Uh, I did. That's fine. That's fine. All right, sticks. All right, let's go, let's finish up. Let's finish it off in five hundred. Star Wars Return of Star Wars Return, Return of the Tag. Tag and Vance. First appearance of who? I don't remember Star Wars: The Return of Tag. Sticks. Sticks. Is it Grogu? Are you sticks? Yeah, yeah. And the answer is. Grogu's, Grogu's and the answer is. <laughs> Kyle, the answer is please. <laughs> Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis. Star Wars. Take the points Darth away. Sticks. The, re the return of Tag. <laughs> Take the points away. It's like the, you should. It's like my only. Take the points away. Yeah. I, I just after that, that book, like, I just need a history. Just give a little bit of history. Sticks. I thought for sure you were gonna win this round, bro. Like what happened? Talk about an epic meltdown a, in a true Bills fan fashion. An epic meltdown. <laughs> Don't go there, dude. Don't die. Because remember, okay, let's move on. This. What what is Star What is Star Wars: The Return it's, of Tag? It's it's, it's Tag it's and a, Bank. It's a um like a like a. Kind of Darth Lopez has got his emojis on when he types. <laughs> okay, oh, sticks. Yeah. Uh, right. DC DC three hundred. Where am I at? Oh. Uh, Green Lantern 1961 is the first appearance, first cover of who? <laughs> Sam Sinestro. Yeah, what? no. You're done. You died from Sam or you. Which which Sticks. issue number? Sticks. <laughs> I'm like which, I'm gonna guess at this one. Which issue number, one. Lopez? You have to say something. You said your name. Yeah, yes, I'm gonna say uh, Hell Jordan. Looks like we uh, fucked this category up here, gentlemen. Hell Jordan. I want to look away, but I can't. <laughs> So how about we uh, go ahead and pass this one up? Let's just see what the hell Jordan. I, thought, oh, was I said Sinestro. <laughs> I get those points back. I, I said that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Sam. Sam I said that. I mean, please hold on, Judge. Yeah, he uh, gets it. He did say it. Sam did judge. say it. Absolutely. I get three hundred points. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to give me three hundred points, Kyle. I, you're back at zero now. <laughs> no, no, you can be minus three hundred. I was at zero when I said Sinestro. No, I you get were at minus three hundred. No. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. We didn't have, <laughs> green, green lantern, lantern red, red color emoji. To answer, to answer. No, you're right. There's so many issues with that. I'm mocking you, Patrick. I've done that. You, All right, Sam. 
Sam. What are you gonna pick? Sam? Gee, which one is I is it gonna be? Gee, which one? 2014 Justice League 37 is first appearance of who? Or is it 31? I see what I did. I tried to get like cute and technical and fucked it all up. Is it 37 or is it 31? It never happened again, gentlemen. Never. You happened. say that every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, past few times have been great. And going once, going twice. Wait, 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 Lopez. So 2014 Justice League number 31 or 37? Yeah. Uh, number 31. Where do you okay. see 37 at? You said 37. You, you said 37. Oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, Justice League issue 31 is first appearance of who? <laughs> uh, one, two, two, three. That's a wrap. That's a cruise. That's a cruise. <laughs> yeah, that's the lantern. So I don't now, even have to. I don't even really have to play to win this game. Yeah. <laughs> this so point, we've got. Like, we've, so to conclude this game, we've got Matt at four hundred, <laughs> Sam game. at zero, and Sticks is at minus two hundred. <laughs> God damn it, Sticks! Where's Final Jeopardy? Did we get a Final Jeopardy? You wouldn't win that anyway, Sticks. Not, 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 <laughs> not quite there yet. I, it wouldn't I, make sense. I would it wouldn't make sense. First of all, but yeah, yeah we're not quite there. Lopez tried to hit me with the with the okie doke, but yeah. I was right. Lopez, yeah, judge ruled in your favor. So I'm giving you the point. You should you should rule in my favor. Now that's I, the Jeffrey I'm we just, all. <laughs> I'm just the host and the Suck writer. It, Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say one thing, just real quick. Can I just recap something real quick? Historically, sure. Recaps. Please, please let's not have had to have anything to do with Jake Gyllenhaal. Sticks I figured he was going to go have to have a cigarette. Won now. This game and the one game where he was up by 500 and got first appearance of Erica Slaughter wrong. And then he he did the same thing here. What's that up? Uh, what, 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 what are you trying uh, to rub salt in the wound? Yeah, it just hurts because I'm a Bills fan like he is. And it's just like uh, salt in the wound. You know? Let's yeah. not get people on getting stuff wrong. <laughs> Listen, I mean, Hot kettle. It's okay, Lopez. Goonies never out. say die. He had good it. job, Lopez. Exactly I what I expect from Jeopardy, and you <laughs> prevailed. An epic collapse. That's right. Matt put the work that's in the show, and now he's going to put the work in later. Yeah, that's right. Matt's Matt's yeah. still got babies to make. Woo -woo! Just remember, his wife has a virtual assistant's <laughs> business. If he wants to hire somebody, yeah, uh, you know who needs a virtual assistant is Lopez. He does. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to go out for a cigarette. Look at that. Hey, three wins. <laughs> League leader. Didn't even have to try that time. <laughs> League leader in career wins at Loperty. Three with tied with Pete. Good job, good job, Lopez. That was ex that's exactly what I expect from Jeopardy, Loperty, <laughs> and you to the T. I, I, I yes, did that kind you of you met expectations. Exceeded them, some might even say. <laughs> All right, let's get into be upset, but <laughs> best and worst covers of the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kicking us off, we have Edge of Spider-Verse number two. A Loraka Cyborg Spider-Man cover. What the fuck? Absolute booty hole. Yeah. Thank you, Lopez. That made my week. <laughs> no problem. Very <laughs> Rob Liefeld inspired, I feel like. That's, that's that's a thing, that was a thing before. I don't know what this is. That was from the old it's garbage. Series. That's what it is. Oh yeah, I agree. Is it worst covers or Lopez's best covers? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is horrible. Like, what's this foot right here? I think like, it looks good from the bottom, and then the, what's what's going on here? It's got a club foot. It's got a club like... foot. Yep. Yeah. Like how his terrible. shoulder is massive, and he's got a little bitty tiny forearm. <laughs> he's. He's got those uh, cyborg weird muscles. <laughs> yeah. He's not I, sure if he wants to wear a bandana or an eye patch. It looks like a 
What's that do for like my he's, character? He's thinking about being a pirate. I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got pouches. I mean, the pouches really... It, it really sets really, the tone. Really What's up with his shoulder? Really brings the ensemble together. He's got like seven deltoids on his robot <laughs> shoulder. It's for watching Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Deltoid. Got, really that's cool. right, Tommy. He's got that quagmire arm. It's a spider hoof. Quagmire. <laughs> quagmire <laughs> arm. <laughs> this is an astronaut. Yep. He watches too much program. Oh, Warming the round of the human shoulder. It is also. Awesome. Next up, we have Bro Berserker Poetry of Madness, pen and ink. He is rocks right. cover. You know what makes this cover so bad is there's so much fucking detail in it. It's like, mm -hmm. like there's there's an artist that Matt and I knew personally, and he, his art wasn't very good, so we put a shitload of detail in it. And I think that's what this does. It's 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 not good, so there's a shitload of detail. Is it supposed to be like a coloring book where you can fill it in, mm. trace it? Poetry Why does his head look madness? like his neck is broken. Right. Is there a color version? I, I like that he's got like seashell knee pads on. Like that's that's pretty awesome. Well, that's for when he goes to the bathroom. He uses the, the two shell method. <laughs> that's when he watches Brokeback Mountain <laughs> with Marco. I like how he's got the spear just going right through him. No big for, deal. Like fuck it. <laughs> For those who love tentacle porn. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound. Tis but a flesh wound, yep. Apparently he uh, watched too much Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> the dude's face getting lit down here is pretty cool. I just, yeah. That, I think the yeah. co color by numbers variant. That cover works. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Poetry of man. Look at the sword between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that cover does not work. There's just too much detail to it. I think it's covering up that it's not good. His head doesn't look like it belongs there. His head looks like it was from a different piece, and he just like photoshopped it onto this because he couldn't get well, his head right. Well, it looks like the two halves of his body are doing different things. Like the the right half of his body looks like it's in like it's a zombie or decayed version, and then the left half looks like it's still. Right. Hanging on the life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot wrong with this book. I don't care what BK says. It doesn't it doesn't work, BK. It does not work. Next up we have the Incredible Hulk 10 Nick Klein cover. Look at Hulk's head. Where is it? That exactly. Is, yeah, that makes it bad. And then look at look at his left arm. It's like stubby and huge. <laughs> like it's I like how this back muscle just like you would think his back would end right here, but nope, just boom. That lat that lat muscle yeah. is freaking jacked. I'm so tired of Danzig Hulk. <laughs> it doesn't matter much to me as long as she's bread. Quit painting <laughs> yourself green, Glenn. Thank I'd rather work. look at Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Who is buying this junk? Exactly. Exactly. The cover sucks, but I heard it's good. I haven't Nick read Klein, I got all the issues, but... You failed. You failed. You failed. He has a cock hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> he does! <laughs> cock, <laughs> cock mouth, cock mouth. <laughs> no, I can't unsee it. Yeah. And like the random blood just washing down the fucking the street. Yeah. What is this? Is this time of the month? <laughs> yes, it is. Up next, we have New Burn 16, Jacob Phillips. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, when you see those uh, videos on uh, Instagram or whatever where. They try to get the life portrait, and then they end up with this. <laughs> yeah, like it's, the, like a it's like a murder she wrote episode. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's it's like you see the picture of the person and then they wipe away the foam for the tattoo and this is what they ended up with. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the yeah, that's I like how she's giving you the side eye. Mm. Why does it look like my name is Olga? The start of a mustache. Olga. <laughs> I am Hilga's mother. I am Frau Blucher. This this is what it this is what it reminds me of. Very okay. astute of you, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> clicking. <laughs> <laughs> Rhythmic clicking. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> that's that's a hundred percent what it reminds me of. Oh man! Or like this, <laughs> like <laughs> too much detail. That makes like, it look like she's taking a shit. I spent like three hours on it. Oh <laughs> wow, that's awful. Boy, like that's the shit it reminds me of. Like, like this. Was that? Like, was that... <laughs> Was that Marilyn Monroe as the Phantom of the Opera? Yeah. Christine. It's probably the best drawing I ever did. <laughs> That's a terrible. Like three hours on the upper lip. Oh my gosh! Does Christopher Walken Napoleon. have lips for eyes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's Mr. Bean. Look at Freddie Mercury. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That, oh my this, god, look at that one below it. This, the dino Jesus. Mouth. Dino <laughs> Mercury. Cow. Like that. Oh, shit. Do do? <laughs> Jurassic. Yeah, you know, do side by side. Oh Kyle. my god. Freddie Mercury side by side where they make his. his no, no, no. Down. No, down. No, 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 down, down. It, right there. Right there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's yeah. that's exactly what this cover reminds me of. It's, it's shit like this. Oh, that's <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that. <laughs> Who let Bobby Hill join Metallica? Come on, Bobby, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what in the heck is that? <laughs> what in that the ding dong ding? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Bobby Hill. <laughs> Bobby. What broken. happened there? Like, what that's the fuck what... is that? It's animorphs. <laughs> Could you do like half a lion face and half a girl face? You might as well just get a tattoo of Rocky Dennis on your fucking forearm at that point. That's what that dude. But this is ex- when I saw that, this is exactly what I thought of, dude. One hundred percent. Like <laughs> 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 lifeline womp womp. Womp womp. Like how pissed would you be? Could you get no go back up? Go back up, Kyle. Dude, I'd be Could so mad. Tattoo? Could you give me a tattoo of Billy Bob Thornton going to second base on Angelina Jolie? <laughs> that would be awesome. But yeah, that's that's what that shit reminds me of. hundred percent. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> that one. So, just to put it out what there. What the hell is that one? Which one? Right there. No, down. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> Could you make it so that the guy's eye is my nipple? Let's do that. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Damn! <laughs> That's fucking gangster. Can I get... Can I get... Uh, no, the go with the the one where her ta- her sideburn is a tattoo is freaking hilarious. <laughs> this one, <laughs> yeah. I want Bob Hoskins sideburns. You mean you want? Wait, wait, what do you mean you want Bob Hoskins sideburns? <laughs> I want Bob Hoskins sideburns. Clearly, okay. that's Arn Anderson. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I never so thought awesome. me mate had a big enough forehead. Can you? Make sure he gets the forehead he deserved. Dude. <laughs> Regret knowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby girl. Oh, baby girl. Baby girl. <laughs> See, <that's- laughs> oh, my God. He's so pissed. It's- <laughs> 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 oh, no. 
That one looks like that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's why you really need to read. You really need to. Re- you you really need to do your <laughs> research. You really got to do your research on this. <laughs> You're like garbage pail kids, man. Jeez. No, 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 no. The one to the right. One to the right. Gross, Gertie. That one. Oy. Oh my god. That looks like Rocky Dennis from the movie Mask. <laughs> What's the heck? Why is it got a rat in his mouth? <laughs> Why is that one a chicken? Why is that one a turkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> what the fuck is that? Horrible trolls. The troll. <laughs> Oops! Why did you? <laughs> That's oh. a weird spot for just a patch of arm hair. <laughs> Uh, oh man, this is we could do this all night. <laughs> hey, uh, Have you ever seen The Exorcist? Guys, I'm gonna cut out a little early. <laughs> of course, you are. <laughs> so, uh, later, Lopez. Lopez hey, doesn't want to Jake Gyllenhaal and he uh, doesn't want to read the misconnections so and then leave. <laughs> yes, sir. You guys have a great night. <laughs> Good night, Lopez. Good night. There it is. That's the winner. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Mistake. <laughs> Spanky McGee. <laughs> All right. All right. Alan. Next up, we have uh, Daredevil number seven. This John Ramita Jr. Uh, well, it's a cover, I guess. <laughs> Are they touching foreheads? With- okay, where is Daredevil's neck? Where did it go? It's right here behind this massive neck muscle or a shoulder muscle. I mean, and why do I feel? I mean, maybe it's just all the broke back talk, but I feel like they're getting ready to kiss. Why do I feel like he was reaching one, two, for three, something four, I, unspeakable here on Wolverine? I thought in Daredevil's one hand had six fingers. <laughs> just, oh, they're man, just crooked. It's Wolverine just crooked. The stomach. Not good. Why is Wolverine's belt red? <laughs> They're fighting the need to kiss. Yeah, why is Wolverine's belt red? Why is Daredevil's pouch or holder for his cane so massive? And then he's got this little itty bitty candy cane. <laughs> he got the little cane from <laughs> Christmas time. Yeah. Because <laughs> of the Skittles inside. I lost mine. I this this is just. One. This wasn't very well thought out. Joe, Wolverine doesn't okay have to, a neck either. It's okay <laughs> to retire. <laughs> right. <laughs> when JRJR goes to the Liefeld School of Drawing. <laughs> this is Lopez's contribution. Oh. Expansion Dragon Tooth 10 ward cover. He thought this was oh. terrible? Yeah, he did not like this. Again, I reiterate, this is Lopez's contribution. <laughs> so he bailed. <laughs> he doesn't get. To, he doesn't even want to answer for this choice. No. <laughs> tell me, tell me what's wrong with this cover? I, I think it's pretty to... cool. Uh, what it is is Lopez has shit taste in <laughs> comics. Either way, best and worst. It was yeah, nice. tell you. This is pretty cool. This doesn't belong on a worst cover list. That last one sure does. The last one did. <laughs> that last one definitely is timing. <laughs> then we get the best covers. We have Spider Punk Arms Race number two, the Ryan Stegman cover. I almost put this one on there, but when you criticized my last Spider Punk, I was like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this is actually a cool fucking cover. It is. Like, I'm not a Spider Punk fan, but this is actually a cool cover. So he's got the. I mean that last that the bottom pickup is a little I, I I don't agree with it but I I'll let it slide. But it's actually a cool cover. They're comic artists, not musicians. <laughs> you could Google uh, oh, it's Fender really Stratocaster cool. and that is not the bottom I know. pickup. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like you could Google any guitar and get a reference point. 
Bruce Hobby. <laughs> then we have Absolute Luther slash Joker. Dude, that's fucking sick. Hey, you should get a tattoo of this, Kyle. <laughs> Why? So it could end up like Angelina Jolie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they won't get it right. I agree with Matt. Lopez left early to make sure he wasn't around for misconnections. I 1,000% agree with that statement. Joking I think it's sick, though. On his bottom lip a little right bit. There. I think that shit looks sick, though. This is Joker after he's eaten some ash and ass in Japan. Right? Yeah. The one on the left is before. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know how I got these scars. <laughs> I was tossing salad in Japan. <laughs> they said we have Batman, the Brave and the Bold, 11, Ashley Wood cover. It's fucking cool looking. It is very. It's like simple, but yet it like it nails it. And the bats spell Batman. Yep. No, I'm just joking. That's I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, literally, you literally had me looking at the bats like they do. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I made it even better. I was really focusing on it. I was like, they do? You're like, whoa, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> like that one Daredevil issue where he's running across the clotheslines and the, the clothes spell out Daredevil? Yeah. Just like Lopez that. looks in the mirror and spanks it. <laughs> yeah. Then we have Power Girl number seven. The John Bogdanova. Cardstock cover. Dude. Take a sip. Look at that. Power Girl got a booty. She does not skip butt day. No, that. Yes. She's hitting those glutes. No. That's a pretty cover. I like that cover a lot. Like, that's one I might actually buy and not sell. So, I like it. I, th- I bet you it's going to be hard to find that with a really nice white cover that's not going to have like rub or nothing on it. Yeah. Yeah. No. No virus virus from that that ass. (laughs) Yep. Pussy on pussy. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh, we have Grim Fairy Tales 82. The Cedric Polat Polat cover. Polé. Polé. What do you think, Sam? Pule or Palat? Pula. Pula. Putnay. Pule. Yeah, Pule. I ordered this cover. Goulet. Robert Goulet. I really liked this cover. I actually exactly. ordered it. It's like a Jen Ortega face on a Salma Hayek body. Yep. <laughs> it absolutely is. Yep. Uh, the, best of, the best of both worlds. Yeah, it looks like that one Spanish wrestler girl there. I think her name. She was in AEW for a little. Oh, bit. um, uh, Rosa, um, yeah, Hi- Hayek. <laughs> yeah, Rosa Damn something. It. Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa. Rosa. There you go. Jenna Hayek. Yeah. There you go. She's got the high heels to match. Yeah, Thank I did. Know, yeah, I did order that cover. So then we have the Miles Morales Spider Man number eighteen one fifty Adi Grenove. Grand Randolph. Randolph. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody drink. <laughs> yep. That is a sick cover, though. Yeah, that is a good cover. I like them. I'd get that one. It's for, especially for a one in fifty. Marvels had a really bad run lately of shitty ratios. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. No, that's a cool one. Then we have Superior Spider-Man number five, the Ryan Brown, one in 25 Ryan Brown variant. I like this one. I like both the Superior Spider-Man covers, though, for the next week. There's one where he's, like, jumping backward and shooting webs at the at the reader. I thought it was cool. Like how really Lopez shoots too. webs when he watches uh, Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> yep. As he slowly reclines the pre-web. <laughs> pre-webbed. Man, I pre-webbed again. <laughs> and then we have the Harley Quinn number thirty-eight. Sosa Micah Women's History Month cardstock variant. I love this cover. Hey, cowgirl. Mm. Yeah, that's how that's how all the girls look like when they go to a Tim McGraw concert. Mm. <laughs> love that cover. Or Country Thunder, yeah, for sure. Or Country Thunder, yeah. 
Yeah, it's a good cover. Woman's History Month. Okay. That's the only part that ruins it. No, what, the Woman's <laughs> History Month? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then for our homage covers of the week, we have uh, the uh, Feral number one, one hundred or one in one hundred copy Fleece and Fostner cover. For Night of I Living mean, Dead. There can't be a lot of one in one hundreds floating around out there. I don't know. There's so many covers for this book, though. It, it, we, it, you know, I get, you know, like not knocking Fleece and uh, Forstner, sure. but like. How many horror covers can you do? Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'm doing but a I, stray dogs. Like I decided do... to do a, a throw together an artist highlight on them and highlight some of the variants for for issue one of this book. And there's a lot. I still think the best horror cover is still the uh, stray yeah, dogs yeah. number one, the Blair Witch homage cover. Which which one do you want me to leave up, Bri J? Uh, oh, he's probably the girl one. That one? It's a good cover, man, right there. I don't know, man. There's a lot of these grim covers fucking <laughs> are fire. The Harley one. Oh, the Harley one? That is I'm a bad have, I'm going to have to call tonight, too. I'm Dude, about, guys. what? Yeah, we haven't got those connections yet. What? I know, I know. I'm sorry. I got a, I got a bounce. Whatever, Lopez. We spent, we spent an hour to Whatever, honor. Whatever, Lopez. Up. Whatever, Lopez. <laughs> Go watch Brokeback Mountain, Lopez. All right, all right. You got me. We're we're doing we're doing a watch party. <laughs> all right, you guys have a great night. Whatever, he's Lopez. Sneaking, he's sneaking over to Lopez to watch it right now. All right, then we have Feral number one. Open order. Foster yeah. and Fleece cover. Harley is just asking to ride the bowl. Then we roll in the variant heat check. Get back to Matt. Yeah. Watch your ears. <laughs> Later, Gimp. <laughs> Dude, I was telling Matt the other day when I, I have <laughs> oh, thank you, Brian. that mess up of that Steve Englehart thing. Like every time I read something, it bites me in the ass because he has done so much awesome work that the, the fact that we fu- it's funny that we fucked it up, but the fact that we fucked it up mm. is such a bummer. <laughs> right. <laughs> because he does right. so much great work. And he's from Indianapolis. What if we just change the name of our show and then ask him to come on again? You think he would? I think just for one episode. Yeah. I think we'll try to do that. I'll get with I'll get with Sam. We can just call. Uh, We're Indian not calling it Saturday Night Sticks. Oh. <laughs> I knew where you were going with that, Sticks. Damn. We'll call it Saturday Night Lopez. Saturday we'll, Night Appetite. We'll, we'll call it Tack. We'll call it. We'll call it the Qualified Tack. There you go. And then we'll ask him to come back on. <laughs> He'll see us and like, oh fuck, what did I do? <laughs> All right, very heat check this week. Keep in mind, this is Pete's list. We're just reviewing it. Talking Talk to the gimp. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Gonna... Gimp talk. Ring the bell. <laughs> All right. So fucking funny. We have Welcome Star Wars Thawne number one, one in ten raw, sold for ninety dollars on three twenty two twenty four. Pete has his ass fire. He said, "At best, offer of a ninety dollars was accepted this week on a raw copy that was seeking one hundred and fifteen. Thrawn comics seem to be on the rise as of late." I might be and touching. he has a current comic <laughs> series uh, keeping him relevant while all await his next appearance on Disney Plus. Nearly doubling in price to 90 bucks. You can see this is uh, quite a jump up from the last few raw sales, more than $50 range the last couple months. Fire, I would say hot. 
Yeah. It's not a very good cover, though. It's a uh, that's Clone Wars, though, isn't it? Sticks. Yeah. Um. Rebels. Or Rebels. Yeah, Rebels. I always hate yeah, that's just a screenshot. I mean, it's not a. a I huge... always hate these because it makes me think of like he's got a pack of like bubble gum right there, like, <laughs> right? Like, pop out bubble gum. Keeps his the chick with. I like that he's got, he's got two pen. He's got two pens. <laughs> yeah, just epi pens. Just in case you need to write something down. Yeah. Would you like a lemonade chiclet? <laughs> <laughs> Something is killing the children. Number eight, buddy. one in twenty-five raw, sold for six hundred fifty bucks on three twenty-one twenty-four. Pete says best offer of six hundred fifty accepted on an eight hundred fifty dollars ask. Last raw sold for five hundred and ten on three three. Price is trending up, but nowhere near the highs of twenty twenty-one. It is interesting to see this renewed interest in this variant for this series of late. As you can see, the the notable sale on the hot ten this week uh, for issue number six. As a side note, I also sold my CBCS 9.8 this week for 900 bucks. Coincidentally, I had lowered. Bragging. Yeah, I know. Coincidentally, I had lowered my asking price uh, to 1,100 recently, and someone came through with a decent offer. I had this one at auction back in 2022 for like 600 bucks, so it was a decent enough profit. Plus, my wife's birthday is coming up, so I figured, why not? Ha ha! <laughs> Hee hee. <laughs> It's, he, it's hot. He, motherfuckers. He, Pete's yeah. doing a humble brag right here. Right? This, this. The yeah. entire thing is a humble brag. Yeah. What, why not just send us pictures of you at the bank? The, right? This whole, he whole thing pulled is a just, barcode. He's just dropping money, money in front yeah, of him. Pete dropping his nuts on the table, being like, I sold this right, book right. for $900. I got much money. I got. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. He's got that three foot dick. Look, yeah. I got all this Canadian money. <laughs> <laughs> Stick showing off his Canadian money. <laughs> Gotta save the queen. Next up, we have. Oh, thanks, Puffy. Amazing <laughs> Spider Man 678, 1 in 50 raw, 100, 1,100 on 318.24. He said, No grade listed on this sale, but if you uh, look at the picture, you can see some spine damage, color break ticks. So probably very fine and near mint for eleven hundred bucks. Not bad considering it's one hundred fifty dollars more than a, new, a near mint copy back in January. Uh, mm. Wow, Pete Raw OT, my favorite variant covers, but this one has I'm thinking meant not not one of my favorite variant covers. But this is one that has been expensive for a long time. It has had its ups and downs, but right now we yeah. may be in for more of a dip rather than a surge, despite the price jump. Dude, I would love Medium. this cover, and I would love to own this cover. Me too. And I will yeah. never be able to afford this cover. I got it when it came out. So, do you still? That's fucking humble brag yeah. to you. Yeah. Jesus well, Christ! I'll give you 150 bucks for it. I, no, it's in the PC right now. <laughs> well, you could pull it out and have 150 bucks it, in your pocket. Right. Pocket. Listen, don't ask me to pull it out. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Pull it out of your PC, sticks. <laughs> like I like so like Lopez those... can go smoke his cigarette. Pull it out. <laughs> sticks of the menace. <laughs> <laughs> Matt taking those remedial classes is paying yeah. off. <laughs> I went to the uh, Michigan Marco School for kids who can't read good. Well. <laughs> It's well. And then we have Marvel Comics presents number four, one in 50 raw. Sticks is bragging and shitting on you losers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sold for $46 on 317.24. Says there were two cheap sales of this 150 this week. And it seems a single seller. <laughs> seller go a hold of a few of these and it's blowing them out of whatever the market is willing to pay. This is a sharp uh, contrast to a book. That was at one time four hundred dollars raw. Yes, it was that expensive. Even despite the recent blowout auctions, this book has been down to one hundred bucks for a nine point eight for months now. Not sure what could rehab the price on this book as if it sold. Shawinsky, Shawinsky, cover, but yeah, but nothing for real. Uh, substance occurs in the guts of this book. But whatever the case, right now this book is in the deep freeze. I think I don't care for this cover very much. I see. 
Sinkovich or whatever. Yeah, Sinkovich. 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 A nice Polish trickle. The Marco School of Speaking in Chess Hair. Yep. <laughs> Marco, Matt needs to show off his Marco diploma to prove he doesn't have money brain. <laughs> no, yet you, you know you've passed if you can get that deep V in your in your shirt. I like the Wolverine, but the the, the Moon Knight doesn't do it for me. The the Wolverine doesn't even do it for me. It's just it's I, there's something I about know. I don't know. I don't know if it's the neck or if it's the I don't know. Sure. Yeah, the neck is weird. Uh, Moon Knight's all right, I guess. His head's a little. Crinked, I guess. He's got a beak right here instead of the, the his cowls. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, then we're gonna go into first appearances of the week. This week we have Django Fett number one. We have the first appearance of y, the group Y three nine nine. Yeah, let's not put any effort into that name. No. I didn't want to do too much because I'm sure they'll talk about it tomorrow night on the Star Wars. What? <laughs> both, <meant> dog brain. <laughs> yeah, both books this week were Star Wars that are first appearance, and then we had Thrawn, Al- Thrawn Alliance at the first team appearance. Oh, he's got four Christ. pens now. Yeah, but still Dude, got more chiclets. He's got a lot of shit to write down with four pens. He'll suck when he gets like a ink bleed on his white uh, uniform. Fuck, I gotta go home and change. And watch Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> hey, watch that shirt again, goddammit. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. And then I'll hand it over to Kyle for hot or iced. Where are they now? So we are doing I fuck, I don't even know if I changed it. It's actually uh You're good. Is it three twenty four? Yeah. Yeah. It's three twenty four. No, I think, I think it's, it's actually like four one. Mm. I don't think I changed it. But oh well. It's supposed to be three, the, this week, so it would be. It was I mean, four. It's pretty. Today's I think the 23rd, it's third, right? Yeah, today's the twenty third. A year ago, it might be three twenty four. Fuck it, we'll go. With it. We'll go with that. So number five, we had uh, Paradise Five. Paradise Five. Number five, we had Paradise Court <laughs> Issue Five, Zenscope Entertainment. It was at five dollars then, and went up to fifteen twenty. It's the first appearance of Gala, who is apparently going to. Amelia Clark's character. I like the mild increase. This is a healthier market when the price doesn't balloon to unsustainable prices. So it was going for 15 to 20. So what do you think it is now? 15 to 20, 50 to 85, or 35 to 45? This is a year later. Where do you think it sits right now? Do you think people are clamoring for Paradise Court number one from Zensco? I'm going to say it stayed the same. Still more prepared than the qualified. <laughs> Goulash. <laughs> Goulash. <laughs> what do you think it sticks? I think it stayed the same. A. Just Matt, what are you thinking? Yeah, I think I think A. Uh, let's see. BK or TK thinks it's uh went to be. Kyle is the book about the rich people cult. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck book is about. Zen scope without titties. A. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it at, Matt? So it looks like uh, we've got some sales from the beginning of January and the end of November. Raws were going for about forty to thirty-seven dollars. Right now they're sitting on eBay from forty-seven to sixty. So it looks like this book has actually gone up. Yeah, we've had total forty-two recorded total sales. Best highest known value raw on May second, twenty twenty-three for sixty dollars. Uh we had a, a near mint sell on three ten twenty-four for thirty-seven bucks. After that, a very fine sold on six eleven twenty-three for a dollar. They had a no grade <laughs> on four two twenty-three for twenty-eight bucks. Uh, last recorded uh, CGC graded sales for a nine six for uh, fifty bucks on five thirteen twenty three. So that one has actually gone up. Be... Next we have All Star Comics 
issue 58, Gary Conway. Back then it was going up almost every grade level. 9.0s were going for 500, 9.4s are for 6. I'm assuming it's back up due to the attic exposure in action comics, but this has always been undervalued in general, according to Mr. Stein. So, do you think this book is around 1 to 300 now? 3 to 600? Or is it hanging out at 85? I think the... I'm going to go A. I think it went up a little bit. Think it A? Well, that means it would have went down. Oh, we're down. I'm sorry. We're down a little bit. <laughs> sorry. So oh, it looks like Tommy's like it's A. Hovering around 1 to 300. Oh, what's it going for, Matt? We got uh, a 9, 9.6 sold recently here for 641. We had an, a 9.0 selling for 300. We got one raw copy that says it's badass was $206. <laughs> We've got one <laughs> shitty copy for a buck 25. A couple other copies for 45 to 30. Uh, we got uh, one 9.4 on the eBay for 775. Got another uh, nine, I think it's a 9.0 for 350, and another 9.0 for 320. So, was that average about 400? Yeah, yeah. So 723 total recorded sales. Highest known value in this book was a CGC 9.8 sold on March 14, 2023. For two thousand six hundred and fifty bucks. Uh we did have a raw near mint sell on two thirteen twenty four for four hundred and forty or four hundred and eighty five bucks. Another very fine sold on uh three thirteen twenty four for one fifty. We had one sell on three nineteen for one ten. Um last uh sold CGC was at nine six or six hundred and seventy five bucks on one fifteen or twenty. So it's right around the same price. Yeah. It's, it's it's but I think that's one of those books that's gonna that I don't think it fluctuates a lot. I think it's those things are gonna kind of stay right around the same. I mean, I guess the selling what did he what did Stein say it was originally 500 to 600? So yeah. I guess it's gone down. 9.4s are staying about the same, but it looks like the 9.0s have kind of gone down. Yeah. So for the number three pick that week was Meet the Scrolls. Number one was five dollars. Now going for fifteen twenty. It's the first. Is that the same? Yeah. I fucked the same it as up. the first one. I fucked it up. Oh well. Oh well. Good job, Lopez. Fuck me. <laughs> so well, let's, just, let's just ask if it went up, down, I, or stayed the same. I think this one is this one is actually the right description for it. It is. So do you think it's going for 15 or 20? Do you think it's staying the same? Do you think it's gone down to five? Or do you think it's hovering about around that $10 mark? I'm going to say it's how shitty this show was. B. How shitty Secret Evasion was. B. Yeah, I don't think it has that. Yeah, I think the series was good though. This Meet the Scrolls was good though. Wasn't it? Was it really? Yeah, was but it? this is yeah, it's this been was a while selling it, because but... of the show. Because yeah. of the Secret Invasion. So it's probably gone down because of the yeah, the, the crap the show that we got. BK saying B it's about five dollars. Mm -hmm. Tyson's being very generous at ten. So is Artrell saying ten dollars. What do we got in that, Matt? The last recorded sale on eBay was four ninety nine best offer, and something less was accepted. And it looks like right now they're selling between seven, not three dollars, and eight dollars. So, yeah, yeah, it had four hundred eighty nine total recorded sales. Last known highest known value was a CGC nine eight on April first, twenty twenty three, for two hundred bucks. Um, last recorded sale was a very fine for six dollars raw on. 229.24. Um, you have not had any graded sales since 823 of 23, which was for a 98 for 94 bucks. So, how the mighty have fallen. 
Yes. Yeah. So it is going for about five bucks. So you guys who picked C, you're correct. People Imagine are not. Whoever bought this book for 200 bucks. Kicking themselves in, in the ass. Yeah, straight up punch themselves in the nuts. Number two on that list for last year was the Terrifics issue one. Stein said $20 plus. Yuck. I've stated it dozens of times. Team first appearances mean nothing unless it's one of the top, top teams. So it was going for 20. So you think it's going for four to seven now, 20? Or do you think it's gone up to 30? I'm going to say A. I'm going to say C. I think with the um, that new Superman movie, I think they've mentioned the terrifics. So I think it went up. Our Charles said A, four to seven, just like Matt. I think uh, Sticks is being very generous <laughs> with C. But we'll see. What do we got it at? People buy crazy things. People have it up for 15 all the way down to $6. It looks like it's that we got, we had one sale recently, best offer at 20 bucks. But for the most part, they're selling around 5 to $7. So, all right. Yeah, 399 total recorded sales. Last known high sale was CGC 9.8 on January 2nd, 2024. Ooh, so we had a high sale for a 9.8 uh, at the beginning of the year, 125 bucks. Um, that was our last graded sale on that. Uh, the only other one was a 9.2 on 7.14 and 23 for 42 bucks. Our last raw sale was near mint 9.4 to 9, or 9.0 to 9.4 raw for 20 bucks on 3.17.24. Uh, we also had a very fine sell for three two or for three dollars on two twenty seven twenty four, and then another fine for three bucks on three twenty one twenty four, and then a no grade for five bucks on three twenty one twenty four. So that shit just dipped like a motherfucker. Mm. Don't buy that book yeah. unless you want to read the terrifics. So the number one book for that is, dude, this is a gorgeous fucking cover. Action Comics issue ten fifty three, the Megan Con Virgin Foil. It was going for 125 plus. It was no secret this was going to be on the list once it finally went live. Classic Power Girl updated to the digital age that a lot of people seem to want right now. 1,000 isn't a super number, so don't expect this one to keep going up in the near future. So it's going for 125. You think it's going around 175? You think it's about 55 to 100? You think it's staying the same at a buck 25? I'm gonna say A. What do you think, Sticks? I'll go B. B. I think this this is a dude. This is a gorgeous cover. I really like this cover a lot. Look at them thighs. Whew. So we've got some sitting up there right now. These books are going. People are putting them up from about ninety two to one hundred ten dollars. We've had sales all the way from a hundred all the way down to fifty five. <laughs> Poor Tyson. <laughs> yeah, so last record sale we had for us uh forty dollars total record or sorry, forty total recorded sales. Highest on value was CGC nine point eight on April 29, twenty twenty three for two hundred and eleven bucks. Uh near mint. No, there haven't been any sales this year. Last near mint um plus was for ninety eight dollars on four nine and twenty three. Last raw or last uh, graded sale was a nine eight for a hundred bucks and twelve nine to twenty three. So this book has taken the dip. Yes, it has. The fat dip. All right, good job, Kyle. As always, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now we're gonna get into our writer and artist highlights. Oh shit! I moved it. Great job there, man. All right. So this week I chose to do it on Tony Fleece and Trish Fossner. Um, the creators of the 2021 indie darling stray dogs are back at it again. Uh next week with their release of Feral Number One. 
Um, so much like the stray dogs, we're sticking with the horror homage covers for this. And like I stated before, there are a lot of store exclusives and horror homages for these covers. Um, just going to run through them real quick. So we have the, uh, King Kong, Scott McFarlane and, uh, the exorcist homage variant cover. We have the cover D one and 10, Tony fleece and Trish Fosner virgin variant. Um, we have the cover F, which is a one in 50, uh, day of the dead homage variant as a pastime comics pet cemetery homage variant. And I just threw this together just in case people are out there hunting for these, like with stray dogs, everyone was hunting these different, uh, variants and mm -hmm. horror movie variants. So we, uh, I just threw it together. So that way, if you're looking for a specific store exclusive, you know where to go get it. So we have the hang in there, baby, uh, arsenal comics and games, uh, homage variant, the, ah, uh, yeah. Comics outbreak, uh, outbreak. homage variant. We have the big time collectibles return of the living dead homage variant. Then we have what's quickly seems is quickly becoming, um, the, uh, <laughs> Homage Most of overused homage of the last well, few run weeks. The is, jewels. Yes. Bird City Comics, Tony Fleece's Run the Jewels homage variant. Seems like this Run the Jewels variant is everywhere. Mm. Um, then we have the Bird City, and uh, Trish Foster and Tony Fleece, It homage. I feel like they did it. Didn't they do an It one for Stray Dogs as well? I do because I have they it. They did. They did. Yeah. I have it somewhere. Yeah, they did. Collector's Paradise uh, did a Sleepwalkers uh, homage variant. Oh, is that what that is? Then uh, Koi's Comics did a Gremlins homage variant. Dynamic Forces did a 28 Days Later. Yeah. 9-4, huh? Well, um, they sent it to me free because it was a little damaged. damaged. Ah. Yeah. And then I sent it off to get it signed by Tony and Trish and I was happy they came back at nine four since they sent it to me because it was, they knew it wasn't a perfect copy. Uh, and then we had G Gabe's Cave did a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, three, Dream Warriors homage. <laughs> Dream Warriors. Right. Stop bragging, douche. <laughs> uh, then we had uh, Final Order Comics uh, Aristocrats people brag. homage variant from the if you're a Disney humble Aristoc brag, Aristocrats brag. fan. Then we had a Scotty Young web store exclusive variant. I fucking love that. Is that it, was a great one. I wanted to buy that. Like they've done this Fright Night one a couple times now. Yeah. Yeah. Southern Comics um, Cartel Buzz Fright Night homage variant. Then we have the Trinity Comics Something's Killing the Children homage variant. And then we have the CBNS uh, The Shining homage variant. That's kind of cool. Shiny. Here's Fluffy. I st I wish they would have done another crow one. I'm sure they will on one of these issues. Because yeah. that the, the stray dogs crow is is badass too. But there you go. Those are that's our artist spotlight for Feral number one. Uh, make sure to highlight. pick that up. Highlight. Or highlight. Sorry. Highlight. highlight. Artist highlight. For uh, we don't spotlight shit <laughs> yeah. here. We highlight it. Tony and Trish's Feral number one. Make sure to pick that up when you're in your LCSs this week. <laughs> And uh, there's a little uh, look at the homage, horror homage variant covers and where you could find them, if you, depending on which one you're looking for. And so now I will go ahead and give it to Kyle for Tales from the Spinner Rack. So to continue with Women Empowerment Month, I'm still doing uh, women superheroes. Last week I did Black Widow versus Supergirl. I did these certain runs. And... Uh, you guys voted for Black Widow, which I think the Supergirl story is a little bit better, but that's just me personally. As you can see, I actually voted for Supergirl New 52. But you guys voted Black Widow 63 to 38%. So this week, what I'm doing is I am doing when Raven first appeared in Teen Titans number one, when the Teen Titans teamed up and saved her from Trigon, her father. Versus Scarlet Witch, when she, the Steve Engelhart 
run where she actually enhances her powers through Agatha. So, got her powers from the Gimp. Yep. She got her enhanced powers from the Gimp. I'm going to go Raven. My first instinct is Raven. I I like Raven too, but that that's, I mean, the Scarlet Witch was pretty good too. But yeah, I think I have to go Raven just because I think it's a fun, it was a funner story. Who doesn't like a little family turmoil? It's the best. Yeah. Especially when it's I'm someone sure. else's family. It, that's the best. Yes, the scream and Friday the Thirteenth was cool. I think I have the Friday. I have the Friday the Thirteenth on my wall. One, I have a couple of them. As I'm a uh, douche bragging again. <laughs> so make sure to go vote. Raven versus the Scarlet Witch. Which appearance is better? I think I'm gonna have to go with Raven on this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Matt. Would you say sticks, Raven? I wasn't sure. I like both of them. I'd probably give Raven the push here because of the, you know, family turmoil was a little more interesting, I guess. Yeah. All right. Next, we got Hollywood Assholes, everyone's new favorite new game. Why don't we do Time Tunnel since it's comic related? Then we roll into the rest. All right. That's fine. Well, we can let Sticks do Time Tunnel. Let me run the intro for Sticks' Time Tunnel. If I can get over there. Here, I'll do it real quick. Maybe not. First time tunnel. Maybe not quick enough. I think we deleted it because we thought it's because of abandoning us. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Oh shit, we're back to anus eating virus. It came why, back again. Why is mine on there? Why doesn't Sticks is on there? There we go. Which one am I sharing, Sticks? That one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I gotta get this. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Sticks is getting real classy. He's doing the time tunnel in Canva now. There we go. <laughs> That's what I always do it in. You do it in Canva? I thought you did it in uh, Google Slides. All right. Uh, I used to transfer it to Google Slides. Then I said it was too much of a pain in the ass. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm gonna, I'll keep it short. I know I'll, I'll do half of it this week. I'll do half of it next week. Perfect. Um, that way we're not running too long. Uh, first up, I've got... Uh, We'll go here. Detective Comics number 85 from 1944. Got two uh, Jokers on the cover. I kind of like that. But not three. But not three. <laughs> not three Jokers. Um, this one's got a, a healthy uh, graded population. Uh, 98 on the census. 81 of Universal. Three signature. 12 restored. Um, I don't blame them for Getting a restored one on there. That's a great cover. Um, it goes uh, all the way from a ninth to 196 on the census. And then, of course, you get the, your 0.5 is the lowest. The speed through these kind of good. Uh, ungraded sales, uh, we had two. Um, Damn. Where are, where am I? I'm. I'm blanking on my face. Uh, one air in um, uh, August of last year for $514. And these are Raws. And one in February of 07. Oh, wait, hold on. That was, uh, yeah, February of 22 uh, for $900. And then we had two other sales, one in 23 for 1400 and one in May for 2040. Uh, we had an AO sale 
Um, mm. 1800. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the two jokers are fighting over Robin's anus. Hold on. Ring the bell. <laughs> Stick, right, stop right. watching Brokeback Mountain on your second screen. Sorry, sorry. I, I was right up to the tent scene, too. I had to go smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we had that uh, AO sale of $1,800 back in uh, October of 23. Uh, 1823. All right. Next up is from 1954, Weird Space Fantasy number 23. Is it space or science? Oh, what's going science. on? Science. Blinded by science. Why is what happened? I don't know what happened, Sticks. It's oh, still showing on your screen. Oh, my battery is uh, dead. Damn it. What the hell? What's going on? Why, what in the fuck is going on here? You don't have these kind of difficulties on the qualified. Right? <laughs> well, I don't use my laptop anymore. And then... oh, okay. <laughs> let, me see if I can, let me see if I can move it. Let's see if, I can, if it'll move. I just added something to the drink game, everybody. Yep. Let's go break back mountain. Remember to, skew, to scan that QR code to enjoy drinking throughout the game. <laughs> drinking throughout the game. All right, I guess let's go. I let's go you, to. I think you've been playing I'll, a little too long, long, Kyle. All right, go ahead. Hollywood assholes time. Nailed it, sticks. Good job, buddy. Great, <sighs> a great time tunnel as always. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> All right, the new game, the sweep of the nation. Hollywood assholes. I'm so excited. Sticks is finally here to play it. Uh, let's run the intro one second. <laughs> All right, Hollywood assholes. Uh, just a quick uh, refresher to remind you how we play is I gave you four clues. You tell me the name of the character and the movie uh, that this asshole is being depicted as. So first up, we have eats pieces of shit like you for breakfast, <laughs> refused an invitation to the Sizzler, jacket size is a 44 long, and the right arm is a bit longer than the left, and this person drinks Diet Pepsi. Who is this Hollywood asshole? I know exactly who this is. This oh, is man. an easy one. This is an easy one. I can't think of his real name. He's a Syracuse University alum, too. You, you don't got to give me your real name. Give me the name of the character he played and what movie it was in. Lopez. Uh, Shooter McGavin and Happy Gilmore. Yes, sir. Correct. It was Shooter McGavin and Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Yep. Syracuse uh, University alum right there. <laughs> and fun fact, um, Netflix actually picked up the rights to make Happy Gilmore too. Oh, really? That's that's what we need. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's what we've all been clamoring for. <laughs> Next right. will be Billy Madison. Right. Next up, we have Disgusting Fat Body. Likes Order and the Virgin Mary. <laughs> Dislikes Disobedience, Texas, the name Lawrence and unlocked foot lockers. Uh, likes to name rifles various female names. I know who this is. This is an easy one, too. Who is this Hollywood asshole? Tyson wants grandma's boy, too. I, I can say it if you want. I know who it yeah, is. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. It's the drill sergeant from Full Metal Jacket. That's correct. It's Gunnery Sergeant Hartman oh, no. okay. from Full Metal Jacket. And Easy Jack one. Play too. I guess not. They're like, fuck this game. No, they're like dead. Full there Metal Jacker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one, we have a thrill-seeking psychopath who robs, rapes, and assaults innocent people for his own amusement. Lives with his parents. He spends his day skipping school and listening to music and his nights terrorizing the neighborhood. 
And Beethoven's Ninth Symphony is one of their favorite this pieces is an of music. Easy one, too. Six. This is an easy one. It's an easy one, Sticks. Do you know who? Anybody know who it is? I know who it is. No. It's Alex from uh, Clockwork Orange. That's right. It is Alex from mm. Clockwork Orange. Good job, Tyson. I'm Alex, and this is my three jugs. Mm. 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 Hell yeah, everybody. All right, what do we got next? And our last one is worked several night jobs, sold soap to fancy department stores, <laughs> reject rejects the basic assumptions of civilization, especially the importance of material possessions, and it's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. These were all so easy, Matt. These, this is an easy one, too. Sounds familiar. I can't play that. It's super familiar. Who is it, Sticks? I I can almost uh, picture, but I can't think of what it is. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's Tyler Durden from Fight Club. That's right. It's Tyler Durden from Fight Club. I can, yeah, I can see it, the, who like I could see uh, what's his nuts here, but I couldn't think of the name of the character or anything. That was an awesome one, Matt. That so that is it for this week's. He of picked like almost all my favorite movies except Hollywood Marvel. assholes, and we'll roll it into Kyle for movie wars. Handed it off to me for movie wars. Yeah, we'll real quick run that intro. All right, so last week, because this remember this month is March Madness, so I'm doing the basketball movies we all know and love. Last week I did White Man Can't Jump versus the Basketball Diaries. And you guys all voted for White Man Can't Jump. That was mm. a close one. It was a close one. It was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. So what I did this week was White Man Can't Jump. Versus above the rim. Got some Tupac. Ooh. Got some Tupac going on I gotta here. Go, I got to go above the rim on this one. You think so? Yeah. Just because it's Tupac? No, I I just enjoy above the rim more. Dude, why they can't, can't jump, jump is fucking awesome. It is awesome, but there's just something about above the rim that I really like. Is it Marlon Wayans? It is Marlon Wayans. It, it, it has to be. <laughs> Marlon, 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 Marlon. Is it sure Marlon. as hell ain't Dwayne Martin? No, it's just too. It's just you know, <laughs> no. playing playing uh basketball on the roof against the ghost of your dead friend just makes a movie, man. Hmm. So hopefully, Pete actually puts them up fucking early because this week Pete decided to be this about the fucking. Polls. I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't rig shit. I didn't fucking do this. I'm not worried about it. And he decided to put him up on Friday after a couple reminders. He said, I think he mentioned it on tack too. Oh, I gotta put up those polls for the kids. He, he didn't. He did not. <laughs> Had to Man. remind him on Friday. And I think I sent it to him on Tuesday. I might have sent it to him Monday night, actually. But you know how it goes with Mr. P. I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't rig shit. I didn't fucking do this. I'm not worried about it. He's never okay. worried about it. He doesn't give a shit about our show. Yep, Pete puts him up if he feels like it. That's right. So remember to go and vote for White Man Can't Jump versus Above the Rim. Hopefully sometime before Friday night. Then we go into TV show showdown where we're continuing our March Madness 90s sitcoms. Um, I feel like people are trolling at this point, but last week we had Married <laughs> with Children versus Fresh Prince, Roseanne versus Saved by the Bell, and Fresh Prince edged out Married with Children and Saved by the Bell absolutely stomped Roseanne. So for our final round, 
of the of the March Madness uh, TV show showdown, we have the Fresh Prince of Bel Air versus Saved by the Bell. I think this one's going to be close. I th- I think Saved by the Bell is going to edge out, but I think it's going to be a very close voting. <laughs> Put Pete's email up. We'll send the answer straight to him. <laughs> but I, like I, I, man, you know, I think I watch Saved by the Bell more in repeat than I do Fresh Prince. So, but Fresh Prince Miller was the shit when it was on. It was. It was. It was. It's so Saved by the Bell. I mean, they were both awesome. So I think I, that's why I think this one's gonna be a, this one's gonna be a tough pick. Yeah. I think say I think it's gonna be. Uh, 60 40 saved by the bell yeah yeah i think it'd be close i think it's gonna edge out fresh prince of bel air just because saved by the bell is just so iconic to so many people i mean you know fresh prince has got uh uncle phil and he was the voice of shredder so yeah but it's also got will smith and he's a cuck are we counting college year saved by the bell no, no just no, no just no. the just the og episodes <laughs> Why try and drag it down? She's thanked a lot. <laughs> but like Kyle was saying before, make sure to head on over to the, the Renovision YouTube page. Click on that community tab and vote in um, Tales from the Spinner Rack, Movie Wars, and the final round of the TV Wars March Madness Tournament. Now we're not going to do Time Tunnel. Let's get it to I Love Good. VWs. Volkswagens I can't afford. So this week, I found some pretty fucking cool ones. Oh, I found this dope ass '66 fastback slammed to the ground, chilling at the gas station by little Jake BMX. Uh, I just think that's oh god, it's beautiful. I I can only aspire for mine to look like that. And then below that, this dope ass bus with an old school fucking trailer on it. Yes, like towing the streamliner with the fucking aluminum, shiny aluminum canoe. I mean, beautiful. That is just that is perfection right there. And then nothing beats a a row of old Volkswagen buses. Nothing. I mean, look at that Mm. shit. Look at that. And then I got the 64 VW square back that just like, God, I wish, I wish I had money. Like they just, <laughs> this just makes me mad that I'm poor and that I just, it just doesn't work out for me. So those are some beautiful VWs to look at that I can only aspire to have. So there you go. Just soak in the awesomeness of those. Shout out to all these guys who just have more money than I do. All right. Now I know the second most clamored for segment of SNS is Lady Time. So with this first one, Matt, you might actually already have to be logged in. So I figured it out. You have to be <laughs> logged in to Facebook for it to come up. Oh, no. So you have to log into Facebook. I thought you would love the VW with the huge dong. <laughs> yes. I don't know what my Facebook login is. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. Because that's how you make them work. Uh, um. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Fucker. You're, that's, a good you're, you're, that's a good one, too. Hold on. The password is I'm Googling one, two, three, four. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Why is it doing this? Here you go. Hold mm. on. Can I not? Maybe I can't copy and paste it outside of there. Here, I think I can do it. Fuck. 
fucking bat. Guess it doesn't work for me Hold either. On. Got it? No, it's still telling me. I'm not logged in and it's still telling me this content is not available right now. All right, fuck it. Move on then. God damn it, Kyle. That was a good one, too. Wait, fucking. Here we go. This link isn't available anymore. What the fuck? I got it right here. No, I don't have it. There we go. The OnlyFans content, huh? Yes. Showing off some. Uh, so, if anybody's looking for some nice uh, ideas for dressing for costumes, here you go. You know, everybody loves the schoolgirl outfit. Naughty schoolgirl. Or the Britney. I'm, it's Britney bitch. Or that. And I am back. So we get a little sweater to put on with it. Now you got the real Britney Spears going. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It got kind of a charmed look to it. Damn it, that first one was so good, too. Got the snake charmer. Dude, nothing beats the snake charmer. Ooh. Take that wedge out of the booty. Yes. Yes, sir. Damn, that first down. one was so good, too. Is it still not working for you? Uh-uh. It was working last night. That's uh... got the butterfly pants on. Mm -hmm. Make sure to show you the all her assets. Damn it, that one was lovely, so, lovely assets. It was so good too. This content is available right now. Why does it keep doing that? When this happens, it's usually because the owner only shared it with a small group of people. Uh, changed who could see it, or it's been deleted. It's not working for you either. That one? That's the, the last one. one? No, it was the first one. Oh, no. The Damn last it. One's the only one that works. Damn it. Sorry, guys. We really fucking. Screwed the pooch on that one. These get harder and harder. They're just so good that they're getting removed. I guess so. Oh, well, well, I guess we're moving on. <laughs> Little Buzz is waiting for some guy with Ashless Chaps for you to show. All right. Moving on to the end of the our final segment of the night. Missed connections the reason why lopez and now i'm suspecting sam both had to dip out <laughs> before <laughs> in the middle of the show my wife said i had to go <laughs> so next week i'm just gonna have them on my screen ready to go there you go no more links. Fuck these links. What 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 you can do is you can if you watch it on your phone, just take a screen video of it and do that one. Damn, I'm so pissed because they were good ones too. I had a good yoga one. All right, All right. that's the first misconnections. I'll do it. I'll do it. Transport back to 1982. Looking to play some old Atari games. These games are so antiquated. It's more fun to have a player two. It's been years since I played this console and forgot how basically the games just keep going faster and faster and faster till you die. My hand is so sore from holding the joystick last night with a death grip. The Frogger is intense. So bring your joystick over for hours of fun. I think other Atari jo joysticks are compatible, but I'm not sure I feel like the 5600 might be. 
It would anyone over 40 want to relive your childhood? No, thank you. Lopez no. does while he watches Brokeback Mountain. Poor Lopez. All right, Sticks, you want to take this one? Sure. Wait till like, give me a second here so it comes back because I can't read it on my phone. So give me a second here. Uh, slow down. Put your okay. glasses on. Put your readers on. Yeah, yeah, I can read it. All right. Uh, anyone want to watch March Madness Valley Village? The tournament has started, and I'm looking for some other guys to hang out and watch the games. I would love to spend March on my knees while the other guys enjoy the sport. I am mature and prefer mature. Please tell me about yourself. <laughs> he wants to. Sh- he wants you to shoot baskets in his mouth. <laughs> yep, it sure does. Shoot loads in his mouth. Let's move up the brackets, baby. Let's talk about the first bracket that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Looking What's for that? top gardener. Looking for Top Gardener to plant seeds in my backside. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Looking for Top Gardiner. (laughs) Gardinier. (laughs) Gardinier. French. It's French. Well. Well, Nice California. (laughs) What do we got next? Bike ride kayak. Hi, looking for a hiking hiking buddy to do some hikes at San Pedro Park. Miss my bro. We'd garden. He'd always grew the biggest eggplant. We'd play tennis, and he'd have me chasing the balls up and down the court. Really would work me out on the court. He'd always make me. He'd always smack me on the chin with his balls, and then smack me in his ass with his racket. Nice. <laughs> That was Lopez. That's why he had to leave. That is Lopez. That's why he had to go. Uh. You're up, Sticks. All right. Uh, three for me in Carson. What up here? Three points of interest, Carson. Three for me, Carson. Three for me, rear RPV. I need one high nips, one low cockhead, <laughs> one in back figure pace state. Must be capable of intricate manipulation. I'll ease on with mine. Should be service. Show your given sign. Available days. Simply the whatever approach to me. T.E. Location. Mel here in Volta Prong, the state. No hype of Habas. Whatever that says. I don't even know what that says. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you watched her when she was working out. You watched my neighbor's exercise. You were looking at her nonstop when she was busy Working out at the park. Was it on Thursday or Friday or Saturday? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking creeper, dude. <laughs> you were watching her. You're busted. And now you're asking what day it was. <laughs> All right. Cool. <coughs> Short term memory loss. I guess. <laughs> Fun time in Beaverton. That's Oregon. I had a great time with this morning. I was wearing a champion sweatshirt and I felt like a champion. Thank you, M M. M and M, huh? Beaverton, Oregon, the number one place to raise a family. <laughs> yep, apparently. What was that? That Reader's Digest. Just don't wear champion sweatshirts <laughs> unless you want someone to make you feel like a champion. Where's my curvy neighbor lady? <laughs> 
I was your tall, white, handsome neighbor, and you were the curvy neighbor lady next door. You used to let me randomly swing by uh, during the day when the hubs was gone, and we'd talk about the first thing that popped up, and you'd always give me something to munch on. I'd love to arrange a visit. <laughs> nice. Nice is right. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. For the, that's all she wrote for the show. And that was all she wrote. Damn it. Damn it. I was trying wrong? to find I was trying to find one of the yoga ones that I had. But oh well. Oh well, I want to thank everyone for hanging out with us tonight. Through the greatness that was. What did we learn tonight, boys? We learned that Lopez <laughs> <laughs> Lopez is a fucking anomaly. <laughs> Dude, he, he never ceases to amaze. Never. He's shock and awe. <laughs> with this kid. With this guy. You know when 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 Jake Gyllenhaal is on screen, he's gotta go smoke. Yeah, he was I trapped, like to be the... trapped on a date to watching Brokeback Mountain. So trapped that he couldn't go to the bathroom, but he could go take a smoke. <laughs> That's so funny. I love how he tried to backpedal out of it. It just, <laughs> it just didn't. <laughs> yes, Lopez is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> he really is. He just. He is an anomaly. That is the best way to describe it. Yes, he is. He is an anomaly. We learned that uh, you get, if you eat ass in Japan, you might get a, a, a virus or a flesh-eating fucking bacteria. I like how Hardy has to prove his his heterosexuality. <laughs> I got the second piece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's so funny. And then we went. Then we went. We went to IHOP. For some fucking for a short stack. A short stack. So funny. He just had to. We learned that Kyle likes to continue watching breastfeeding videos and then look at monster cocks on Pornhub. Dude, that's like insane, though, isn't it? Six foot cocks on Pornhub. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Just Google it. It's crazy. I was like. What the fuck? With the girth of a poop of a fucking pool noodle, dude. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's like a it's like a it's like a two foot like soup, a... soup can. <laughs> soup can. <laughs> That's crazy. I was was it? It wasn't like a uh, no. It was not a BBC. Man. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it is not like a the old analogy of a baby's arm holding an apple. It was more like a adult man. Holding an apple, an adult man's arm holding an apple. <laughs> that was crazy. I covered that with a Pringles can. Dude, it was crazy. a Pringles can would even fit that. You would need two of them. Oh, yes, it was crazy. <laughs> Just Google it. Just Google world's largest cock. Or click the link that Kyle shared. Did I share it in the? I think I just did it in the. You, you shared it in the private chat. chat. In the private chat. Here. I, I, I'm in not the gonna private chat <laughs> and our group chat. Oh, I got rejected. <laughs> YouTube rejected your comment. This is fairly common when sharing a leak. <laughs> it rejected your leak, huh? Or your link. <laughs> yes, it did. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out. That's another episode of SNS in the books. Remember to check out the Dark Side show tomorrow. Make sure to check out the Tax Show on Wednesdays. Make sure to check out the CBSI Hot Ten with Matt and the and the rest of the boys, which leads in to Sticks and the rest of the boys on the Qualified, which gets you right back here to the seventh best show on Renovision, but the number one show on Saturday nights. Yeah. So make sure to check out all the content that's going on here. Because we're educational and informational. <laughs> Tyson says, I enjoy the breastfeeding vids, but I don't think I'm ready to graduate to those huge cock vids. Yeah. It's it's a sight to behold. 
Dude, it's fucking insane. It is a sight to behold for sure. Make sure to be here next Saturday night for an all new Saturday night special. And you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Ring the bell. Whoops, wrong one. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Show us the bell. Wrong one. Um, either you've got.